Thank you.
Okay, hello everyone. How are people doing? Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Public holiday, nice. Wow, chat's a little lively today. Let's see. Mm, garlic, hello. Best time? What time is it over there right now, actually? I'm not sure. Is it like evening? Wait, let's see. It's 11 a.m. here, so I guess it's maybe evening. I don't know. Um, One drunk man. Hello, salty nutted. I ran out of space. 10 peaches. ReZero season 2. Mm. Obsidian, hi. Lana, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't let you know, Obsidian. <laughs> Nuclear nachos, hello, Yoni. Let's see. Good morning, though. Breakfast time? Brekkie time? I have, uh, I didn't really have too much for breakfast or anything. But uh, look at this, I have a Belgian boys anytime pick me up. But it's just a cookie though. It's just a cookie. Just one of the uh, chocolate cookies. Salvation here. Christine, hello. Good morning. All right, so yes, we're building salvation today. It's in this case right now. I put it in this case. Uh, it's supposed to be in the cardboard box, but I just put it in this case because it was easier to handle that way. And I would not like forget where things are. I didn't want to be in the position where I would uh, maybe lose something or anything like that. So I just put it all inside of this case instead. And loop the switches most recently. Oh, casual, hello. How are you doing? What's the color? That's the question. Silence as silver? Haha. Ha. Oh man. Way to ruin the surprise, but I knew it was not a surprise anyway. So. Um. Oh, hold up. Gotta close that. Ugh. Okay. Good morning, though, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Nice Salvin shirt? Well, of course. I need to promote here, you know? Oh crap! Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not a surprise at all. It's never been a surprise. It's, I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm just being facetious. I'm just being facetious. Of course, it's silver because I don't think anybody else has done silver. Maybe I. Well, I guess. Oh no, there is, there is, there is, there is a silver I've seen. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's do this. Alex, how are you? Good morning. Hope your weekend's been good. I just kind of, uh, I like dozed off, got up, and then I got a phone call just now, and like I just had to do some stuff, and it just took me like a whole hour instead of like 10 minutes that it should have been, but here we are. Yeah. So, um, anyhow, anyway, so here's everything in the case. Um, again, this case is not included with like the package or anything, I just put it in here. Uh, this was originally the case that came with the Bakken Echo, but I put it in here just because I don't want to lose anything. But I'll still show you all the contents of what I got here. So I got some stickers, some Salvi stickers. Look at the wonderful holographic sticker. That's a pretty fancy sticker. That's pretty cool. And then we have, is it more stickers? More stickers. Aha! These are the pour on pads and go underneath the uh, within the channels I believe more stickies hey Carly thanks for the tier one my friend um, Christina again earlier uh, thanks for the tier one yeah yay what's a good place to sell keyboards mech market for sure. Let's 
Alrighty. And then we have a PCB. Two PCBs. We have a gray PCB and a red PCB, it seems. We can open these up actually. have our red weird flex PCB and we have a oh by the way if you're wondering if this sticker comes in like that I actually just put it on myself because uh, there was a few things packed with the sticker and I was unpacking it and then I was like I'm just gonna put it here because it's like a collaboration and then we have a dark gray weird flex PCB pretty cool both are very nice um, I'm actually debating what I want to use uh, we might use a red, we might use a dark gray, I'm not sure. We can decide together. Um, so, here they are. Hey, maybe one doesn't work and then I just use the other one. So I'll test both anyway. Uh, or I'll test one and then if you, that one doesn't work, then I'll use the other one. So I doubt they won't have any... I, I don't think they'll have any issues though. Okay, so here we have Salvin Packaging. And we have our FR4 plate, can be snapped into a half plate if you really wanted to. Well, not snap, actually you have to cut it out. Um, but it has these little cuts in between, which you can make it a half plate if you really want it. But it's a full FR4 plate here, again with the Welba logo. It's pretty much a generic 60% uh, plate if you don't know. Uh, not, like. This plate is, is, you can still use it for other tray mount cases. Well, the production unit comes with a carrying case? No, I, 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 I actually just use this carrying case for the sake of safety and for the sake of me not losing track of things that were inside of the package, inside a cardboard box. I just wanted to put the cardboard box away because I was, uh, I was just throwing out trash and whatnot and yeah. But no, the, the 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 carrying case is not part of the of the package. Um, and then here we have our FR4 uh, leaf spring mounting tabs. We'll be using these. Let's see. And then here we have our case, which yes, it's not a surprise anymore. And here we have screws and some other hardware. And here we have our lightning silver case. It almost looks grayish. It actually does it looks slightly grayish. This is anodized. This is silver anodized. This is actually just kind of, it's just like an actual silver. Um, but it does kind of, I was telling this to Salvin, um, cause I got it and I obviously unpacked it right away because I wanted to make sure everything was here. That was the reason why I unpacked everything first myself. And why, when I first saw the color myself, I could, I noticed that it was slightly grayish like that. Like it's like a light gray, but it's a, it's a silver. It, it is a silver. Like it does, it is anodized. It does have like that, those reflective properties of anodized like metal. And, but it definitely does have a bit of that like flat light gray kind, kind of tone to it. It's an interesting way uh, that it, the anodizing came out here. But yeah, this is the silver uh, sample. Again, uh, you know, the anodizer will obviously try their best to make this particular color. This is exactly the same way the samples came out, you know, uh, as, as, as with any case or any metallic keyboard case, you know, anodizing can always 
very slightly, but uh, it's a single piece, so it's like, you know, at least you don't have to think about like, oh, whether there's going to be variation around, uh, like along the case and things like that. And I think that will be all quality controlled and, you know, it'll come out nicely, I assume. Is the same silver than uh, the, from the group buy? Yes, it, this ideally this would be the silver that you would be getting from the group buy order if you order a lightning silver uh, salvation. So this would be what you would be getting. Yeah, so this would be the production color ideally, yes. So this is a sample for that reason. This is just a way to show like, oh, this is what we can do and uh, this is what we'll probably try to do if you like it, you know? So yeah. All right. So we here we have a case. I don't know what color I should take. I suggest for those of you don't who don't know what color to pick, I have a few suggestions. Number one, random.org is a wonderful website where you can put a number between one and any number of things that you want to pick from, and then you just say random like randomize it and then you'll get a random number and then you just go with that that's number one number two you ask a friend hey what color should I pick what color do you like and they'll tell you oh I kind of like the blue one and then you say okay thanks for the suggestion and then you just go with that one you trust your friend number three you don't like your friends you don't like a randomizer so you look at the options and go, hmm, I like, there's five options or whatever. I believe, let's see, there's silver, there's black, wait, no, uh, so is, it, is it silver, black, gray, red, blue? I think that's right. Silver, black, gray, red, blue, is that right? Let's see, blue, red, silver, yeah, silver, black, silver, black, gray, red, blue. There's five colors. You can go, you can go, you know, mini, mini, mo here and, and pick one, or you can just, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just put it, put things in the bag and just pull one, choose two, and then flip a coin. There's many ways, but from, we've seen all of the colors except for, I mean, black, well, you can expect it to be black. Um, we haven't seen the gray. We're not going to be seeing the sample of the gray because uh, the anodizer has is not going to be able to make a gray one on like in the time of the in the time frame of the group buy. Um, so we won't see a gray one, but uh, I can expect the gray to be well darker than this, right? And um, yeah, I mean, just just go with like go go with you know go with a hunch. Trust your instinct. Hey friend, what color should I pick? You should pick. Either I would say I personally really like the red or the blue. I okay. I'll I'll say this. If you don't have a black, silver, or gray case, and you're not leaning towards, I mean, like I personally always go for the more unique stuff. Why? Because there's always silver, black, and gray in every single keyboard group buy, like ever. There's almost always silver, black, and uh, silver, black, and gray in every group buy when there's like color options. So I tend to pick the option that I'm not gonna get anywhere else. So in this case, red and blue are those two. However, if I really want something neutral to go with like the key sets I have or whatever that is, or the setup, you know, if you're like, oh, no matter how the how nice the color is, I want to pick something neutral because it goes with everything and I'm a boring person, then just go for that. Don't, don't hesitate, just pick it. Just do it. You're not you're not you're not doing anything wrong by picking those though. Just because other people are like, oh the red's so nice, so I'm gonna pick that one, doesn't mean that you have to. Anyway. Rant is over. Let's uh put these feet on. So we have these long rubber feet with a case. Again, just trust your gut. Trust your gut. If you, when you see a color, it makes you feel certain things. 
I think that's the right color. <laughs> I mean, if it's like good feelings, right? It makes you feel good things, then yeah, I think that's the right color for you. And worst case scenario, guess what? There's another group by coming for other keyboards. Like every couple weeks, there's a new group by popping up. So if you wanted more keyboards, there's always more keyboards out there. It's not the end of the world. Is that Silver Salvation? Yes, it is. Sorry, I'm not. If I'm not answering any questions, but you, I'll try to see if I'm not missing anything. How's the silver looking in IRL? To me, it looks like a white rush silver. How does this look white to you? Hold up, hold up. Would you say it's more like a white? No, it's not like a white at all. It's like a silver. It's like a light gray, like a silver normally is. It's a metallic light gray, which is what silver is. It's not white. Does it look white? No, it does not look white. Should it be white? No, it should not be white. Is there going to be white? No, there's not going to be white. I know a lot of y'all are saying, Where's the e-white though? There's no e-white, I'm sorry. Sorry to disappoint, but there's no e-white. If you feel sad about it, I'm sorry. I bought a black dolphin even though I wanted to get the burgundy. I just got the whale burgundy and didn't want to get the same. Oh, cool. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Go with something that you don't have already. So I think that totally makes sense to me. Okay, so... Alright, so that's that. Um, let's prepare the case for the assembly now. Uh, and then we can do the assembly and then we can come back to, um, to the assembling everything together. So I know that the first step, I believe, if I recall correctly, is putting eight of these porn pads inside of this case, uh, guided by these divots, except for, I believe, except for these two. And these two remain empty, if I recall correctly. So there's going to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do that. That 3M tape thing is white, yes. Oh yeah, look, it, this is white and that's not white. We call it lightning silver, but lightning one and red feels bad. No, 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 no such thing. The, the, the problem is I have too many keyboards and let me think, how many keyboards do I have that are silver? I have a lot of silvers though. <laughs> so I like all these colors because I happen to have a lot of beige sets too. And I love beige. All right. So, um... What is RTFM? What does RTFM mean, sorry? Oh, uh, read the fucking manual? Oh, sure. Uh, can you send me the link? <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I have the link. I just remember it by, just, just, just send me a link. Place part on foam pads in the divots. Okay, so I wasn't wrong. Oh no, there are 10. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Will lightning silver make my words words per minute go lightning fast? If you can get good 
If you can be as good as the case, then yes. If you can't match the level of the case, probably not. Silver it is, was well, hesitating on my silver choice. If you have like a beige set or any like, I mean even white on black goes pretty well with silver. There's a lot of sets that go with silver. But silver is a good choice if you're looking for something that kind of does match a lot of... It's, it's versatile. I think versatility is a good, very good aspect about silver. Um, the render is more reflective and shiny so it gave you the impression of white. Well, guess what? You should never trust just... You should never look at a render and see, and think, Oh, that's like what I'm gonna get. And if you're like, oh my god, but the render should at least try to give an idea what the product's gonna be like. Well, it's not a real product so it's not gonna be like a real product. It'll just give you like a eh, kind of an idea, but like it shouldn't it shouldn't you shouldn't necessarily feel like the render is gonna be exactly what the product's going to be like. So, I mean, we've learned that lesson a few times too, I think, over key sets and other products that we've seen renders for and they're not quite the same as the real thing. Because when you start making these things, eh, the colors don't mix the same way or renders give lighting that's kind of not realistic sometimes, things like that. How's the Anno and Salvation? It's pretty nice. Um, I mean, if I have to say, it has a bit of a, if it has slight, a slight bit of texture to it, it's pretty smooth though. You can tell that it's like fine sandblasting right there, right? You can you can you see that? So it's pretty smooth, uh, and to the touch, there's a bit of like that slight kind of like a uh, very fine sand, uh, like smooth texture to it. That's how it feels. Silver salt, yeah, yes, yes. You can see it with your eyes. It is silver. E white boy is molding though. <laughs> I guess so. I'm sorry, E white boys. All right, that's that's it, right? Okay, that's it. Uh, remove leaf springs using a side cutter. Get that. Do that now. Okay, bye.
smooth the ends of the leaf spring. Okay. Let's do that. No flak jacket for safety. <laughs> that one's fine. Can you twist those out if needed? Yeah, you can. But you, I mean, you just have to make sure they're uh, rounded at the ends. So I'm doing that right now. That silver looks so nice, like a light gray. Yeah, it kind of does look like a light gray. It's, yeah, it's been what I've been saying. It does look a little bit like a light gray. Okay, cool. All right, what's next? Smooth the ends of the leaf spring, good. Put the rubber standoffs on one, uh, one end of, of the eight leaf springs. So the ones with only one hole. So two hole ones, let's put them aside right now. All right, that's it. Okay. So here are the rounded rubber standoffs. I'm sold in the silver, good. This gray is lighting really or what? Huh? What what? Hurley Alvarez, what are you trying what are you trying to say? Cut to the doggo, hello, how are you? Sorry if it has already been answered, is that the silver anno being sold? Yes. This will be what the production hopefully will look like. Will my rose pruning shears be enough? Probably. But flush cutters are very cheap to buy anyway. So if you are looking for flush cutters, I believe I have a link on my gear list, which is just exclamation gear, and you can find all the gear that I normally use for builds. And the flush cutter should be in that list in the build tools section. Good morning, and sleepy. How are you? The business gray board must be dark AF. Uh, it'll definitely look darker than this, yes. I'm not sure how much darker though, but yeah. Hey Lightning, how do you think the Vulcan Pro and Ogre compare? Uh... Hmm, that's a good question, I guess. Kind of unrelated, but um, I think both are, I mean, both are the nice 60% cases with a relatively low angle and 
pretty standard side profile. Both use O-rings. Vulcan Pro uses two of them. Ogre uses one. Ogre has that nice engraving in the back. Cool. Um, but I would say the Ogre has it's kind of a it's a pretty tight case in that the, all the fit everything fits very nice and tightly. Uh, it's like a snug fit, so to so to say. And so when I type on the Ogre, it's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like the softest experience, but it's still softer. It's kind of like it's like a it's kind of like it feels like full, like the case is full, like it's like all 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 this one piece, and like it. It, it, it feels soft, but I would say that maybe the Vulcan Pro has a bit more like like a bit roomier feel to it Roomier feel and sound to it uh, While the Ogre is kind of like nice and tight um, Yeah, I think that's kind of like how I would describe it. The Ogre kind of always came off to me as a case where You know, uh, there won't be so much room for that like um, for like, like sound to sort of like bounce in and like in it kind of just like it just yeah it just kind of feels like a nice and tight case but it's not in a bad way not in a bad way but it, it de definitely everything kind of felt like it just had just enough room for it things let's see you put the steel thread standards on one end of the two leaf springs two of the leaf springs with the two holes okay then m2 string so we need two of these Okay. Is it the ogre because you need layers to use it? <laughs> Nice. Onions have layers and so do ogres. Um, no. <laughs> it's named ogre after like oni, like in Japanese, like the ogre, like a, like a Japanese like ogre. That's what it's named after. It's just, it just happens to be the name of the board because it's like, that's the, like the inspiration behind the engraving is that it's like Japanese styled, uh, like demon or ogre. Do you yeet a spacer to the right? No. Oh, 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 the standoff. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's, these are just extras, though, so it's fine. Yeah, you're right, thanks. Okay, cool. Tighten firmly. Okay, I'll tighten firmly. Okay. Install the leaf springs in the positions shown. So these two go here. Why is my phone not on silent? Okay. Um, M2. That's four. Let's see. All right. I've watched like five salvation builds now and just learned that those are springs and not weights. Well, they're uh they're just they're just little flat tabs of FR4 and they act like springs because you're basically putting something in between, kind of like it, it's like a seesaw. Like you're basically just attaching in one end and then the other one is floating, so it kind of does this, right? That's why it's, it's like a spring. Does that make sense? But that's why. That's what the spring. The leaf springs are pretty thick. Uh, they're like a couple of millimeters. Let's see. Good thing I have rulers here. Let's see. These are about two millimeters thick. So these are just two millimeter, 
two millimeter thick pieces of FR4 in the shape of these channels and then you're basically putting a pad in between you know it, it's like in a floating position you're putting a pad in between and it's being let uh, displays downwards when you press because there's on one side there's nothing and then one side it's attached that's all right so yeah same thickness as a PCB same thickness as a PCB PCBs are not two millimeters though so if it's if it's the same thickness as a PCB then it's 1.6 millimeters right I see okay Point six two close enough. Kind Ion, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I kind of basically just woke up in a way. <laughs> I accidentally ended up ended up staying late. I ended up staying up late last night, and uh, I just was chatting to a friend. But uh, yeah, no, I I'm doing well. Uh, I finished my semester for school for grad school, and so. Uh, done with all my big assignments feels good man i was basically staying up till around 6 a.m every single day the, the past week uh, like last week i basically was only sleeping three or four hours every, every day for the entire week so i finally caught up on some sleep uh yesterday and got to hang out with some friends and talk you know I, I, an old friend of mine visited town and so we for, we saw each other for the first time in three years feels good um, and uh, yeah just uh, you know had dinner we went to a uh, udon place which was fantastic probably the best udon place in New York City and we had dinner and just chatted about life catching up and stuff yeah, it was nice it's been nice three four hours yeah yeah I've only I only slept about three or four hours every day for the past week actually almost like the past two weeks because I had, let's see, I had two presentations last week, two reports last week, one presentation last week, two, three reports this week, so this past week. So yeah, that's all I had to do this in the two, in two weeks span. So I had a lot of work to do. <laughs> I've had a lot of work to do. Congrats, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I'm not sure the porn pads go in the case where the leaf springs with the standoffs. Like here so oddly enough the build guide this time has all 10 pour on pads which seems like a revision I think when I saw uh, when the build guide yeah anyway I think it'll be okay guys worst worst comes to worst I just remove them which is not a big deal Y'all get more than four hours of straight sleep? Yeah, I imagine that, right? That wasn't me last week, though. <laughs> yeah, I was not in that great place for a bit. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm done. And I gl I'm glad I get some time to sleep. I have a lot of keyboards to build, and I get to build them finally. Uh, I might be streaming, like, all as often as I can, just because I want to squeeze those in, and I just want to be, you know... Get those done. I feel, I feel bad for the people that have been waiting. Alright. I put them all in. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Tighten firmly. Align the hold in place. Do not install on the left and right. Yep. Make sure they don't rub. Okay. Cool. Looks good to me. And then 
And then that's it. We're basically done with the case assembly. So we're just gonna move on. Alright, I hope you enjoy your rest. Thank you, thank you. It, it feels nice to take a break. Alright, so we can now continue with the assembly. So the question is, do we use a red PCB or we do we use a gray PCB? Gray or red, chat? Gray or red? Gray, red. Just realized the decimal is Zelda themed. It is, yeah. It's from the GMK Hero group. By I only got the decimal though because I didn't like the keyset. I trust the build guide. Yes. <laughs> hydrate, sure. I'll hydrate. I see a few grays, a few reds. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, it's about the same. Rojo, graphite. Actually, we're, okay. Maybe we're a hair with red over gray. Pull time? Okay, sure, pull time. Meanwhile, I get things ready here. Meanwhile, I, I'll test the PCB in the meantime, so you guys can debate this. Looks like, yeah, it looks like red is winning by a hair. Okay, opening up Bia. Wait, is that the right one? Okay, this is the right one. Layouts. We're gonna do 7U bottom row. And now, uh, split right shift. Regular backspace, I think I'm gonna do today. I've seen everyone has been doing uh, split backspace, which is cool and all, but I'm gonna go with regular backspace. Oh, gray is winning. Okay, okay. Alright. Plateless? Do we want to build plateless today? Hmm. Hmm. We can build the way that... I actually don't know. We can use a plate this time and maybe we can do a different build later with no plate or... Maybe I do half plate. We can cut the middle part of the FR4 plate we have here and try that. Uh... I mean, I actually also have, um... I actually also have like half plates from uh, my KBD fans, 60% half plate thing. I have some half plates from that, so we can even use half plates like third party half plates as well. Like there's there's a lot of options here. Split backspace is useful when you need those extra keys? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's why function layers exist and so yeah, it doesn't matter. I switch between slid backspace and regular pretty like pretty much every every day, so it's like not an issue for me. But yeah. I don't disagree. Do we win do we have gray win or, or I don't understand why the pull disappears right after. It's so annoying. What what did 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 gray win? Did red win? God damn it. Gray one by four? Okay, thanks. So I have to test the gray one too. Split 
split right shift and 7u. Feel like the poles used to stick around longer? Yeah, that's how I felt about it too. And then it feels like they just disappear right after they're done, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. It's a weird thing, eh? Oh, so I announced on the Wilba server that I might be testing more than MX, and that is indeed true. Uh, I have a few tray mount builds that I've done over the years, and more specifically that I use. Like I have my duck poker case with the, with the Ergo Clear build and the half plate. I have a build with Orange Alps, and I have a build with MX Blacks, I believe, and a half plate as well. So we can test those later on. That's why I decided to do pewters for this, or rather went with the silks on the Bakeneko and then doing pewters instead on this one. So that's where we are. Yo, Tim Keeles. Yo, what's up, dude? I love you. I love you too, my friend. Thank you so much for the tier one. Orange Alps, uh, yeah, they're okay. They're not the best Orange Alps I've used, so don't expect too much, but, you know. I know some people don't really like the sound of Alps either, so. All right, cool, so PCB works fine. Um, we can keep going with the build. Wondering how the flex on this is gonna be like? Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll build it. Should we, do we build it with the plate then? I guess we. I guess we should. Doesn't really matter, but. Alright, we're gonna use 205 only today. Oh, why is VS still up? Okay, there. What do you think of the build I'm going to. What do you think of the build I'm going to build? It's a KBD67 milky. Six, KBD67 light milky yellows and some janky Amazon keycaps? Well, that's fine with me. Just make sure you lube your stabs properly and, uh, yeah. Take your time with soldering if, you're, if it's your first time doing a build. There's no rush in doing builds because it's all like modular, so like you can interrupt your build at any point. Break that thing into half plate? Hmm. Hmm. Half plate. Half plate. We could do that. But I won't have a full play comparison for y'all if you if that's what you're curious about. Just so you know. I could do a half plate though. Or I can just use a different half plate too. If I didn't want to break that one instead. Doesn't matter. Ooh, actually you know. Uh, I think I do have a half plate that's FR4 for 60% that I don't might not have to break this one to do that. So I can always try that. I believe I got a 60% half plate from... From someone... It was for the unicorn initially, but... It pretty much would work the same way. Because it's just, you know... The PCB still attaches exa the exact same way, so... We could try that. I think that might actually not be a bad idea. Yeah, I can go get that plate in a bit. Let me like... Let me see if I still have it there. Should be... Should I, should, I should still have it here. Huh. Where did I put it? 
Oh, here it is. Barrier plates coming in clutch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see if this fits fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This could, this could work then. Cool. It's just a half FR4 plate generic. Probably made from like the AIO3 plate generator. Yeah. That cannot do to you, Backspace? What are you talking about? What do you mean, Salvi? It was inverted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It was probably just upside down. No worries. I told you I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, you're good, dude. It's okay. It is Sunday for you too, so... It's okay. I'm okay being... I, I don't really do much on Sundays. <laughs> I mean, of course, today I'm doing this build and whatnot, but on a normal Sunday, I try to, like, really wind down. Yeah. I'm a bum on the weekends, man. I prioritize, like, doing nothing a lot. Sometimes you just... I, just, I don't know. I don't know how people do it. There's people out there, either maybe they're the extroverts or like just a really proactive people. But you know how, you know, like there's always people who like plan out their weekends and it's like, it's like, oh, I don't know, there's always something going on. I'm like, how do you have the patience to do all these things? It's like, how do you even have the energy after a long week? It's like, oh, I'm gonna go hiking, I'm going to the beach, I'm gonna meet up with like a bajillion friends, and I'm like, man. Damn. Damn. So now two E white salvations exist. This is not E white. This is silver. It if it looks like a white on the camera, then that's very weird. <laughs> because that doesn't it certainly does not look white to me. And I do think the camera actually looks pretty accurate to what it looks like to me in real life. So it is like a it is it is a silver or slight like light grayish case. So yeah, it's not E-White though. It looks hella white. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> this is white though. This is this is white and this is the case. Like I have other white comparisons, like maybe like a white piece of paper or something. Like this is white. It looks great closer. It looks like the same color to me, closer far. But yeah. All good though. Just trying to clarify. It's not it's not white though. It is not white. So don't don't order silver expecting white. <laughs> well, just don't expect white. Period. Because there's no white in the among the options. <clears throat> Weekends are for relaxing. That's how I feel. Can you screw the PCB with that plate in? You mean can I can I still screw the PCB in with this plate? Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. You only. We're only attaching two screws here. As long as those positions are free, it's fine. And in half place, it doesn't even matter because it doesn't even go all the way that far. Uh, no, yeah, I could fit it. And if, if it doesn't, I can just cut that part out, which is fine. We'll make it fit. We'll make it fit. It's not an issue.
Dremel go burr? No, I just use flush cutters. I don't even have a Dremel tool. <laughs> I have like zero power tools at home is what I'm realizing. I have no power drill, no Dremel. The only power tool I have is my electric toothbrush and my electric razor. Hmm. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I guess I have a food processor and a blender <laughs> in the kitchen. Food processors are actually so, so pog. So cool. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm make, I'm, I'm just, I'm just making it quit. I know they're not power tools. All right, we should have enough. Shift, enter, backspace, spacebar. Okay. Is this a good build? Tofu sixty acrylic lavender linears build, uh, loop with Crytek Studio Five. Yes, yes, yes. They're all. That all sounds pretty good. You can convert them into power tools? <laughs> True that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know what the safety considerations are of that, but yeah. You could convert anything to something a bit scary. Love that, Desmat. Thanks, man. Terrence, how are you doing? Hope you've been well. Hope you've had a good weekend so far. I had to put my new desk together with an Allen key the other day. I need a drill. Uh, so, um, Obsidian might know, but my, uh, so I'm currently on, my desk here is an Uplift V2 desk, which is a standing desk. And the, there's the control box for, not the control box, the, like, Oh well, yeah, it's kind of like a control box, like the little button panel for for like the the desk, and that's just dangling by these screws and some tape. Um, it's like the like the manual is like, oh, you can just um, you know, grab the screw and like you know, screw hard enough, and like you'll like you know, kind of like tap itself and like just go in. But no, the screw hole that they like tapped out was way too small, and so like you definitely need a drill for that. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put some tape and call it a day," because I don't want to like go and get a, you know, get a drill. Because I would have to like go and ask someone to to get a drill, right? So I was just like, "Can't be bothered. Just put some tape on. It works." And you can't see it anyway, because it's like, it, like it's like behind at the bottom. Yo, Huego, how you doing? Tier one. Thank you so much for the ten months. Had to do like 12 3 inch lag bolts with a damn Allen key into solid wood. Oh god. That's rough. Yeah, I'm telling you, these, these tabs are just like way too small. Just like, um. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> Had to pre drill mine? Yeah. Oh, Ninewalker recently joined the Uplift Gang? Yo! Nice. Isn't it so nice? It's such a nice desk. Chillin'. I'm doing alright. Yo, and Sleepy, thanks for the Prime Gaming sub. Best decision of my life? I... I think so too. I mean, well, I always appreciate furniture and like, kind of big upgrades like these. You never know until you have it and it's like, oh. Well, I mean, for, for one... For me, like, I need the desk space because I do a lot of work on my desk and, like, obviously, like, keyboard builds and all that, too, included. And oh, it's so nice to just have the extra depth for the desk. It's such a lifesaver. Definitely worth the investment? Yeah. yeah I, I found it personally very much worth it. Especially since, like, work at home and all that.
got an autonomous one and she loves it. Nice. Yeah, I have a. I think I. I think a friend of mine got autonomous instead. We can't get uplift in Canada. Yeah, Sag. They think they ship from like Texas or something too. It's it's pretty rough. It's too big to ship to Canada. Too expensive. Well, it's an untapped market. I feel like. I feel like Canada could have a company kind of that does the same thing, but I don't know how sustainable it is as a business. But I feel like that's a that's definitely a market that has a, quite a bit of demand in it. It's like everyone uses desks, and standing desks are definitely like the the hotness for home setups. Or I mean, even even office setups. There definitely are some Canadian companies, but Autonomous was just cheaper. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You can just get legs on Amazon and make your own too. That is true. Yeah, I know someone who's done that like with the Jarvis legs. They got the Jarvis legs and the, you know, and went along with um, like a big, you know, block of wood and did their own thing. So yeah, that's doable thing. For me, I didn't do it myself because I live in New York City and also uh, I just don't have the tools or the space to sort of like do all the, you know, wood woodwork and finish and all that stuff like you need to like varnish and all of these things right and you need quite a lot of space for that it was just too much of a hassle so i didn't bother doing anything like that even though it's definitely could be cheaper but the labor is also money in a way you know oh wait i should have closed that that's not the wires to do uh sirens at 12 PM. Good old New York life. They always use my street to pass by for some reason. Hello, Monthan Basak. Hello. I don't trust Amazon lately, TBH, though. I mean, Amazon's has kind of been sus, yeah. Watch out with what you say, though. Doesn't Amazon, like, and Twitch have a thing? <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, no. Um, pretty sus, for sure. So I recently grew a hobby for mechanical keyboards. Nice. Primary vote. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Prime is worth it for if you use it enough, but like, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy how much money that is. I mean, you definitely save on shipping eventually, but. Still not, not cheap. Not cheap. I'm flabbergasted. There's so many kind, so many times and kinds of keyboards. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a lot out there. Are you overwhelmed with the options? If you need to pick something, I first recommend seeing things by layout first. So, what layout you might want to use, like the form factor of the keyboard. I think that is a quick way of um narrowing things down quite a lot and then from there you kind of go with available options all the way through if you want to like buy something in the aftermarket maybe or wait for a group buy that might be coming up and then you know and then like you can go with color and other kinds of little details to focus on later on but yeah 
I only pay like six dollars a month. Street Prime as Netflix with free shipping on products. Oh, okay. Good way to see it. Good way to justify it. It's a bit of mental gymnastics for sure, but it is true though. It basically is like that. A subscription model, but you just pay one time yearly. And it's like free shipping on products if you buy enough from them, right? Yeah, true. Sixty percent? Sixty percent is nice. I use sixty percent quite a lot, so I can recommend sixty percent just because I like it. <laughs> Not biased at all, right? What kind of lube am I using? I'm using Crytox two five grade zero. This man's biased, yeah, too bad. Too bad. Imagine having opinions, right? This man has opinions, oh my god. 60% TKL best? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that way, personally. I understand though, people have different preferences. Any ETA on Kohaku 65 build stream? Uh, no, no ETA yet. Uh, because it hasn't been sent out or anything like that yet. So, no. No estimate yet. Um, I would say within the next month. I'm just not sure exactly when. Uh, I believe that uh, Elaine is gonna have to do a photo shoot, basically. Like, of the sample products and stuff. And uh, needs to tweak a few things and whatnot. So, yeah. It's gonna take a little bit. Um... I'll say like the next month or so. Yeah. There are still like logistical things to figure out and so yeah. And the design's like still a bit not finalized, right? So still some some stuff. Do you ever build your key cult? <laughs> no, I haven't. It's still sitting in the box right here. I see it. And uh, that's because I haven't had time. I've been too overwhelmed with work the past few, the past like month. I've basically been just too busy. Like as it is, I'm building like stuff and like that's like uh, all I can handle right now is client builds and like you know things like like the salvation here or like other like sponsored builds and stuff like that. Um, so I haven't gone around to my own boards yet. Uh, I do have a few things to build for myself. Uh, that I've wanted to, but I just haven't had haven't had the time to. Too busy for boards? Impossible. Well, I'll tell you what, it's possible. Hey, bueno! Thanks for the four months, my friend. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Spent like six months just watching streams, assimilating everything before I took the plunge on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think taking your time is the kind of the most, it's like the best advice you can give. It's like, because you don't have to do everything all at once. You can loop the stabs and then leave it, leave it like that for a month and then do your switches and then, you know, like it doesn't matter when, how quickly you assemble everything all together. Some people like to do it all at once when they're feel ready. Some people like to just do it by parts. You can, it's modular and you can take your time with it. Like, just re, just realizing that is already a big step. Uh, you can, you know, take your time and 
Take it easy with that. All right. So someone did mention, which is a good point, where this PCB, this plate could uh, possibly not fit if we're not careful enough. So that's probably because of this here. Actually, hold up. Let me notice. Let me check something. Notice that the edges might be rounded here. So I might, might not want to round it out slightly. Yeah, I'm gonna round out the edge. Ever so slightly. What material is the half plate you're using? It is um, it is FR4, just like the just like the default plate I have here. So it's still FR4. Okay, there we go. Now it fits fine. And then I just need to make sure these screws. So these screws, as you can see, right? Uh, this wouldn't have a place to go in, right? So I'm actually just gonna chop off these ends because it doesn't really matter too much because I have a PCB mount switches anyway. So I'm actually just gonna chop off these two pieces here, which should make the screws fit. So like basically if I'm using the gray PCB, right? The screw is gonna go through like, through here. And so I just need to make that match up basically. Yeah, so I just need to make sure that hole basically has enough that we have enough space to put the screw in. So I'm gonna do that. And I don't I don't care, so it's fine. It's just a plate. Oh excuse me. Uh. Well I can always just test with the screws first, so I'm just gonna do that. For a sec and see if I really do need the clearance because normally this would have to go in here so okay yeah so let's just chop that piece off I'm gonna mark it mark it down let's see oh, I have a pencil here I have a pencil. Anyone have links for all the products you need to loop switches? Uh, you can go to my gear page if you want. Exclamation gear. Hey, Dr. Huru, thanks for the six months, dude. How are you doing? All right, let's see. Where do we chop it off? Do we chop off the whole thing or do we chop off just this bit here? Hmm. We can try chopping off just this bit here and see how it goes. It's not gonna look pretty, but it's fine. No, we sand it down, I guess. You know what? It doesn't look too pretty, so I'm just gonna chop it all off.
All right, we're good to go. Let's go. Alrighty. Snip snip, there's no rewind button indeed. There you go. Plate fits. Alright, cool. Let's move on. So let's test the stabs first. So let's put the stabs in. Now the good thing is we can always do a half plate build and then we can do a full plate build at some point in the future. Not probably not today. But yeah. And then I get to keep the original plate here. So All right. Funnily enough, it's not my first time dealing with FR4 in that way, because when I, for those who don't know, uh, well, for those who haven't seen, when I did my uh, Kiko number one prototype build, the first prototype, I sand, I, I, no, I cut down a full FR4 plate to a half plate, basically. <laughs> There's some photos of that, and uh, you can see some of the edges are kind of rough. <laughs> But yeah, I did that just by snipping with flush cutters. It's very, very easy. Look at that birdie board. How you doing, Sandra? Hello, future salvation owner. Title, hello. Happy morning, for me at least. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it is, well, 12 p.m. here for myself, but good morning. Maybe you're in the west coast or somewhere in the middle.
Is this a solder version? Uh, yes. Is that pewter switches? Yes, it is pewter switches as well. We're doing it with a half plate, a half F or four plate that I have around for the unicorn that someone else made. Sent that to me, and we just like trying to see, trying to trying to do a half F or four plate build, and then we'll use a full a full F or four maybe for this red PCB at some point later in the future. We'll do something about that. Later on. Probably not today, but yeah, later on. I heard Gator on when you said later on. Do you have one? Do I have Gator on? Oh yeah, where's Gator on? Oh, maybe he's under in the bed somewhere under the covers. But yes, I would have to go look for him. this out he's playing hide and seek with JD <laughs> true let me go find him why not found gasp Hey, auto works. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing okay. Any suggestions if the stats for spacebar starts to make a ticking sound? Uh, sure, yeah. You can always grab a brush, or you can, for example, have some lube in a syringe like this, and basically apply some lube from the back of the stab, basically. So like that would be, in this case, it would be like from here. You could put some lube like there. Um, that's one way to basically fill that space with a bit of lube, If, but that's assuming that you're like I think 
way under loop stabs won't have that easily fixed even if you do that just because kind of like you know the loop has to be placed in a location where it does feel that's that is it, it is filling that space but sometimes when you don't have enough loop like even if you put it from the back it just kind of doesn't really make it there so it might take again anyway um so sometimes you might feel forced to like rebuild or something like that but not always, so I think you can always give that a try first and see how it goes. Right? Have you ever had any wires pop out on stabs and which brand of stabilizers was it? Uh, I've had wires pop out of pretty much every brand, but if you really want to prevent that, you could try using Duroc V2s. Duroc V2s have a uh, have the like orientation of the clips reversed and so that the wire doesn't pop out. So they have like a, you know, it's basically like quote unquote like anti-wire pop out technology in a way. But it's more so like a like a workaround for that and uh, it, it seems to work the Duroc, I haven't had Duroc V2 stabs have the wires pop out so you could try those PCB is that again? This is the the Wilbatex WT60D Weird Flex. It comes in a graphite or dark gray, um, dark gray um, color. What does everything single makes look so good? Like that spacebar cutout is actually the. I'm pretty sure that the play file is from somewhere else. It's actually a custom made play. Like someone someone made like five or ten plates, and I just got one of them from someone in the server. So maybe it's somebody else who did this. Actually, I do think it might have been from AIO3's plate generator. Just with fixed uh, options like fixed like right shift, fixed to you backspace, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just FYI. So it's not like an official single unicorn plate. It just happens to have the silk screen for the so get single unicorn stuff because someone in the server made that, yeah. So yeah. But yeah, so any aftermarket plates will work on the salvation. Um, you just need to make sure that you do have access to these two holes here for attachment of the PCB to the case. Because these are two standoffs right here, right? You want to make sure to be able to attach the PCB to the case. So see, uh, most after most plates will have access to those two. This particular plate didn't because in the case of the unicorn, you actually don't really need the screws to attach. I mean, to maintain the plate assembly to the case, but it still uses like generic 60% plates, um, and the salvation will support that because it has a left side USB and you know it has still the standoff positions that require that. Um, whether it might be these two or these two and then normally in a poker you'll have the center one and the one down here but um, at least in the salvation these two should be enough um, if you if these two don't work I could have always just moved these standoffs over here and done it here but then I would also in this particular plate I would have also had to cut out something here so it doesn't really matter um, but in the case of most aftermarket plates like I can show you some plates right So I have a bunch of plates here. Like if you use any other aftermarket plates, you have here's an aluminum half plate, uh, and it you know it, as you can see you can have access to those screws there. Um, and more plates, another aluminum plate, PCBs, PCBs. Uh, wait, I have more plates here. But yeah, you know, I have like more plates here, 
um, and you can have like you know have a polycarp half plate, have an aluminum plate here, and like you know all of these have access to the general the, the generic positions for the poker stand like poker style like case standoffs, and the salvation basically has those available to you. Two on the sides, and then two here. If you, if you, you know you use these two on the sides only if these two are missing. Um, but yeah, that's an option you have for access to the case. Did we already do full plate? We haven't done full plate. We're doing half plate today. But uh, we'll do full plate maybe some other time. Other people have done full plate though, so if you're if you're looking for a full plate build, you can always check other people's builds. Like pretty much everybody else has done full plate. I mean, Alex has also done plateless, for example. Uh, so there's those options too to, for you to look at. Hey, Hoj Poj, how you doing? What's the green board on top called? It's called the hyphen exclamation board or exclamation keyboard. My bad for that info. Does this board need soldering? In this case, yes, but there will be a hot swap option available as well, right? So. And, um... Oh, my bad. Yeah, the, I should have updated that command because I uh, we decided halfway through, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, that we're doing a half plate build. So, I updated that just now, so thanks. Uh, yeah, so we we decided halfway through that we're gonna do half plate today. <laughs> um, is this a hot swap PCB? It is not. Would you keep a salvation or a thermal if you can only have one? Ooh. Um. Hmm. Damn, that's a good question. I don't know. I haven't tried the salvation yet, so I don't know, right? I think design wise, I would go for the thermal. Um, I like the I like the look of the thermal more. I like the look of the thermal more. The versatility of the salvation is always very nice because you can basically use any aftermarket plate and PCB and you can customize it in so many different ways. Whereas the thermal, you are limited to the options where like you have to make material, you know, plates of the materials that you want, you know, using the plate files and all that, but you know, you have to go and make them yourself and whatnot. Whereas like in the case of salvation, you actually have many options already available to you in the market. Like there's people who sell 60% FR4 plates, 60% steel plates, brass plates, aluminum plates, polycarb plates, no plates. Um, there's a lot of different options, right? And um, I would say that uh, if you want the versatility to try out new things, the Salvation's great, it's fantastic. A lot of customizability in the options. Whereas for the Thermal, I think you are a bit more limited to the particular offering it has and then like, you know, whatever else you might want to do by yourself. So there's that to consider. Um, but uh, I think design-wise, I would pick the Thermal, personally. I like the look of the Thermal a bit more. Yeah. Let's just make sure this kind of like will fit before I start soldering anything. That will fit fine. And then we'll I'll have access to the screws, which is perfectly fine. So let's get soldering. All right. With this board, you can cut out parts of the plate to make it half. Yes, uh, the reason I didn't do that today was because I figured I want to keep this full plate as it is, maybe do a build later. And I happen to have a half FR4 plate, same material, same thickness. So I figured we do a half plate build with this first, and then maybe in the future I might do a full plate build with this plate. And instead of having to cut out anything, I just can just, you know, keep it. So that's why I didn't cut the plate material out, which is, could have been a good demonstration. But if I don't have to do it, I won't do it, right? So. That's all. Uh, is this silver? I got silver. Yes, this is silver. In terms of innovation, do you think more are still to come for keyboards or it'll still it'll be slow progression? Um, yeah, I think there's more to keyboards. It, 
you could think of it different ways. But the thing is, innovation, how do you define innovation in the sense that like, you don't know when innovation happens until it happens. As in like, you don't know it's new until someone presents a new idea. So in my opinion, I think there always is room for new ideas. But it's true also that there have been, we have a bit of a, a bit of different standards sort of set in the community and uh, that some people just like those standards that have been around for a long time and because they work, you know, like, like, they do, they just work fine. Um, but I would still say that there is room for new things to be done and new, you know, new ways to do things. So I wouldn't discount that possibility. And also, I don't know where my, where's my little control thingy? Is it worth trading in a Bower 2 for a Sat 75? Well, what do you like more? Do you like the layout of Sat 75 more than the Bower 2? Then do it. If not, don't. I think it's as simple as that. If you're thinking about a trade, don't think about the value. Think about what it means to you. Do you find more use for Sat 75 over a Bower 2? Then do the trade. If you don't, then don't. If you're thinking about value too much, you'll never do a trade. I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I, I think I should say that because it, it's true. People get decision paralysis, and they're like, "Oh, what if I lose out on the value of this?" It's like, "Yeah, sure, but are you just gonna keep this board in your closet then? Because you're waiting for the right trade to happen." What's your favorite plate to use in builds? I like aluminum plates a lot personally. Um, so there's that. Is there a decent aftermarket PCB plate with arrow keys and one U-shift compatible with Salvation? One U-shift? Maybe that would be like a DZ60? I think a DZ60 might have that compatibility. Uh, Zanbar Bone 1. What's the mounting style of this keyboard? It's basically a tray, but it has these leaf spring uh, pieces that allow it to... Um, Allow it to uh, like bounce a bit. Okay. Yeah, you could call it leaf spring tray mount, something like that. Alrighty, let's do this. Okay, make sure everything's nice and flush. Let's start soldering. The video froze. Why is the, the video freeze? Hold up. Video froze. One sec. Okay, we're back. Apologize for that. I think it's just the connector is a bit loose. Probably. When you. Got the fume extractor, it flashed and froze. Yeah, I probably just hit the USB connector. That's probably why. Yeah. There's no progress curve for what is good in keyboards really, but yeah, new ideas will definitely come. I think, yes, I think so too. I think so too. I would like to believe that. All right, I'm gonna put these fume extractor on. All righty, solder time. Solder time. 
means what should I practice soldering on before my nice keyboard gets here? There are practice kits out there for soldering. You can always use for a soldering practice kit. There's like some breadboard sort of uh, things for soldering. But if not, there's always like the practice 60 or the practice 65, I think, from Canon Keys. That's a good example that you can use if you want something in keyboards. You can always try something like a macro pad uh, that has soldering involved in it. Pretty much any small electronics project can work, but uh, it depends on what you're like looking for yourself. So I guess I would personally suggest just uh, kind of thinking about what application you want for and then just go with something simple, like go with something cheap, you know? Practice on that. You can always just uh, take a PCB that maybe is broken and try soldering and desoldering on that, you know? Like an old electronics. Like, you know, like some some old electronics you might have around, you can like get the PCB out or something, you know, and try that. There's many ways, there's many, many ways to practice. Uh, Mac Merlin was showing off noise reduction app on his stream the other day, don't recall his name, started with C. I could try that, but can't be bothered right now. At least not right now. But maybe later I'll check out this noise reduction thing. But I personally have tried different noise reduction things and just, yeah, kind of didn't, couldn't care too much for it. But if it bothers people so much that I should have a noise reduction thing, I'll consider it. But I personally don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, Gio, what's up, my friend? Let's see. Um, it was very cool. I could hear him perfectly, but totally took away fan noise. I mean, I'm sure that like RTX voice basically does the same. Uh, I, too bad I don't have an RTX card. I still have a GTX 1070. Because <laughs> I'm not... I don't have the money to buy a new card, and obviously they're not in stock anywhere. And I, if I upgrade my card, I actually have to upgrade everything else. That's what I... That's what I think, anyway. Um, but yeah, Geo, how you doing? Salvation design before Geon's Vanquish 65. Uh, yeah, yeah, it 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 was made before, I believe. Yeah. I don't think it matters, though. Does it really matter that much? I don't think it. I don't think anybody took ideas from one another like that. I mean, like, even if it were, like, you know, it's not like two people here are, no one's, no one's fighting anyone. There are two different layouts, two different options, two different makers. No one's, no one's, no one's, no one's causing any drama or anything, so it doesn't, I think it, it, it shouldn't matter to you so much. Yeah. Uh, I've tried RTX Voice with my GTX card though, DZ Slasher. Uh, last time I tried, it didn't work too well. My voice sounded robotic and shit. I heard. But yeah, I didn't want. I didn't want to bother. Honestly, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I can't be bothered. But yeah. All right. So it's a me. I'm alive. I'm glad. But yeah, sure, Patreon. Do DM me. I mean, I can always check it out. It's not. It's not a. It's. It doesn't hurt to try, but I'll do it some other time when like I feel like I feel like maybe maybe give, give that a chance. But yeah, Arctic's voice kind of didn't work out for me. My like voice would sound robotic and stuff. I don't know why. But it just did that. It doesn't drown you out, so it's fine. Yeah, I can just talk more loudly I suppose is it sponsor time yes it is sponsor time I'm just getting distracted by chat um, so solder time is sponsor time indeed so you can hit exclamation sponsors to see all the sponsors but the first mention should go to mr. Wilba if he's in chat still I'm not sure it's pretty late in his location so he might have gone to sleep already but uh, shout out to mr. Wilba and Salvin who so so generously provided the salvation keyword for today's build i am super thankful for their friendship and their 
sponsorship of this particular board here today um, for me to try it out um, yeah so thank you Salvin thank you Welva for today for today's build um, so yeah shout out to them you know check out Welva Tech Wilbur Tech's different products, you know, they've they've done you know, he's Wilb has done a lot of work in the community, a lot of PCBs, you know, he's done work for Rama and Keycold and all these different makers. You know, he worked on the, like like a lot of old OLKV stuff too, ortholinear stuff and the Planck. In the past the Zeal sixty, the Zephyr, the Thermal. Salvation, right? So many different projects we've seen from Wilbo and from Salvin too. We've seen the synth, we've seen all these different keycaps. And you can currently go and check out salvin.com to see all the Wilbotech PCBs available there. There's also apparel on Salvin's website. Um, of course, if you're in the EU, uh, you go to Salvin to buy the Salvation. I believe he also has red linear switches right now. But yeah, Salvin also brings so much to this community and I think we should be pretty thankful for it. Is this will if this will be PCB the same PCB found in Rama and Key Cult? Uh no, not necessarily. Uh there's basically you can think of it two versions of the PCB. There is a there's a kind of PCB that has the JST connector and a daughter board cable, which means that it won't work in a case where you need the left-sided USB port, uh, but there are like these my like the daughter board cable ones are specific to specific boards, so just be aware of that. Like you can use the uh, daughter board cable ones, for example, like in the thermal or in the Key Cult 160, but you won't be able to use like in Salvation because Salvation does not require a daughter board. Does that make sense? So just pay attention to the compatibility of those. Where can I get that fan you use for soldering? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right. So back to all the other sponsors. I'm soldering so fast, though. I'm going to be done way before. Um, first up is Canon Keys. I'm just going to mention all the different group buys we currently have live in the month of April. And whatever is left of April and then coming up. So first on Canon Keys, we have the Icky 68 Aurora Peaches and Cream Edition. Available for $169 US on CanonKeys.com. Um, so if you're into a peaches and cream colorway, the Icky 68 this time comes in that particular color. Special edition, only this time around. There's GMK Peaches and Cream Light by Rensuya on Kanakis as well. And the Nice PBT Sugar Plum set, I believe there is still stock left on Kanakis website. So if you missed out on Nice PBT Sugar Plum, it's still in stock. There's other switches and other accessories in stock. There's the coffee chip switches, which are like Holy Panda-like variants. There's moths and lavenders. And then there's lube and desk keys films and so on and so forth on Kanaki's website. There the Instant 60 and Instant 65 practice. Uh, I mean, sorry, Instant 60 PCB and there's the Practice 60 and Practice 65 kits, for example, also available on Kanaki's. Next up, we have uh, you can go and check out Keyspresso if you want to check out discounts that uh, a, a special discount code that uh, Hugo has been generous in providing in the past. Uh, go and check out keyspresso.ca if you're in Canada and if you're looking for EPBT6085, the Penguin Deathmat, Giant V4 switches, and among other things. Next up, we have Mint Autumn, but I don't have really many updates about Mint Autumn other than the fact that he just posted a brief update on his Discord server regarding the Rookie Round 2 group buy. So if you're in that group buy, you should probably check that out. Maybe he sent that an email, I don't know. Next is Novel Keys. On Novel Keys, we currently have. Any in stock items of novel keys, you can get 5% off using the promo code THUNDER. Then, for keyboards, we currently have the Salvation on Novel Keys. Novel Keys is, is the official North American distributor for the Salvation. So, if you're interested in today's build and you're in North America, highly recommend checking out novelkeys.xyz for Salvation. And then we also have the NK65 V2 Aluminum Edition on Novel Keys, currently in stock, I believe. 
There's, as far as key sets go, we have GMK Metropolis Round 2, which also has a collaboration with Rama Works for the M6C Macro Pad. And we also have GMK Zooted, uh, which is a key set themed after the best holiday of the year. Just kidding. But, you know, themed after getting zooted, the dink, the kush, the leaf, the tree. Um, but yeah, Jim K zooted in soft green and purple colors. Does your promo in, in, uh, does your promo work in buying the Salvation? No, it does not because the Salvation is a group buy and the promo code does not work for not uh, items that are not in stock right now. So it's gonna be not applicable for any pre-orders or group buy items. Diego, how is the Rode NT1 mic for you? I like it. I've been liking it so far. I don't mean to change it, <laughs> so it's been working well for me. All right, let's test the PCB. We're already done soldering, but yeah. Um, so yeah, for key sets, Jimkey Metropolis Round 2 and uh, Jimkey Zooted on Novel Keys. We also have Soran Nono the Duck bundle. Soran's Nono the Duck. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out Nono. Uh, it's a bundle of a desk mat and a plushie. Uh, it's a very cute duck designed by Soran, former mod of Teha Types. And um, it's very, very cute. Oh, I I don't have exclamation no no, but um, should I add that command? <laughs> but you should check out no no the duck bundle because for every bundle that's purchased, there's going to be a $10. Wait, no, that's not the right thing. Uh, $10 donation over to the Children's Heart Foundation, if, we, if I recall correctly. So for every No No the Duck bundle, we're gonna have a dono over to the Children's Heart Foundation. So it's for a good cause, and um, you know I would highly suggest checking that out. And it's super cute too, so you know, kind of a Kind of a two birds, one stone kind of thing here. Okay, so is that it? Do I have everything set up? All right, cool. Um, all right, test matrix. Let's test it out. So yeah, that's the novel keys. We have, next we have Omnitype, omnitype.com slash lightning, where you can check out Eze Ramses and GMK Blurple for uh, key sets. Uh, they have some collaborations as well, so you just go and check those out. Uh, Desk pads normally commonly restocked on omnitype.com. And I should mention that Novel Keys also tends to have desk pads pretty often, so check the two websites for that. Um, but yeah, um, Omnitype has a calendar for desk pad drops and whatnot, so. Uh, if you sign up for the newsletter or if you go to a Discord server, you'll see um, frequent updates on desk pads as well. Next, we have Prime Keyboards, primekeyboards.com, and primekb.com slash lightning, where you can find alpaca switches, cobalts, desk keys, stuff. Duroc V2 stabs, my favorite stabs to use. Uh, this build includes Duroc V2 stabs from Prime KB, which has black hardware and a smoky ink housing. Um, and yeah, there's also like random accessories like lube stations and holders and switch openers and whatnot. Okay. And we have Project Keyboard, projectkeyboard.com, where you can check out DCS Delftware until April 30. So this coming week, we'll have DCS Delftware ending. So I highly suggest checking that key set out. It's a pretty cool key set. Um, it's uh, kind of like ceramic themed. Ceramic, like China themed, and um, it has there's a it's like white and blue colored. So I I like it a lot personally. I think I'm gonna purchase it, but I'm just waiting um, closer to the end of the group buy probably. We already talked about Salvin, uh, but you know check out Salvin for Salvation in EU as well as Wobotech PCBs available there and apparel. And then finally for space cables we have GMK Wasabi V2 uh, ends on May second. We also have cable collaborations for different key sets that you might like. And we have a couple of desk pads are currently in stock at Space Cables or spaceholdings.net is the website. And then we have a loop station there as well. We also have XHD BDZ loop coming up soon in stock. Uh, we're waiting for a restock at this point. So it'll be back in stock soon. 
And yeah, that's about it. That's I think that's all I have for today's sponsors. But again, thank you so much to Wilva and Salvin for providing today's build. All right, so now we're done. So we're gonna just plop it right in. And we just grab our screws here. M2, three millimeter screws, and just attach it here. And that's it. That's it. We're done with the build. And we need to pick keycaps. Your probably already did this, but can we see a close-up of the case? Yes. That's a big that's a long sponsor list. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, eh? I also I'm also not too good at it, so I'm like trying to get better. Alright. That's a close-up of the case. Has a single unicorn thing here, but that's just because the plate is an aftermarket plate. But this is what the case looks like. Nice and tight USB C port there. You wanted to look at the texture here. Look at that. Huh? What about the feet? What about what the what about the feet alignment? Did I do something wrong? Hi chat, hi Diego, bye chat, bye Diego, bye Soran, hi hi Soran, bye Soran. Hope you're well. All right, so key sets, key sets, key sets. So let's give me give you a list of key sets. I believe my list of key sets is gonna pop up in three, two, one, boom. So we have some key sets here that you may choose from. Oh, and you used to see the feet don't align the same column. Oh, I see now. Yeah, I see what you mean. The perspective of that can feel a little off for sure. I see Xerox being suggested, which I think is a pretty good choice too. Let's let's put some options. I'm gonna do a poll. Let's see. So I think I'll say Xerox, and then I'll say something beige, which could be CRP or anything else. Uh, we'll say uh, ASCII, sure. Dark. Is that one, two, three, four? Kuro, as in like Kuroshiro. Okay, I think those five options, we're going to start choosing from those. I'll make a poll. Poll. What key set? Uh, and I said... Xerox, CRP, Beige, could be CRP or GMK or OG Cherry. Uh, ASCII, Dark, and Kuroshiro. Actually, yeah, well, um, classic blue? That could work too. Actually, I'm gonna overwrite on dark because I'm not feeling GMK dark on this. I'll do classic. Well, it's not classic blue, it's more so blue and white. Yeah, but it's the same thing blue and white. Blue. Alright. Start poll. All right, those are some of the options. I just have, I'm limited to five options for the poll, so I just pick that, so yeah, sorry. Do you happen to know if the Ice Ice Corby is one of one? Uh, I don't know, Cassim. I don't know, Cassim, no. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, it maybe is. I remember it was sold as part of a charity auction thing, but uh, like as you know, there are other caps being sold too. But I'm not sure if it was a one of one. What are you gonna have for our first meal today? What do you mean our first meal today? Are we are we hanging out?
mukbang? My first meal? Uh, I probably am gonna make some brown rice and I'm gonna have that with some Korean side dishes and I might make some... I might cook some steak for protein Wow, people are choosing Jimki ASCII I have leftover pork chops? That sounds pretty yummy. I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick, so I'll be right back. Meat. Niku. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Oh wow, Jim Kiaski, okay. Are we doing Jim Kiaski then? Alright, Jim Kiaski. Uh, let's go look for it. Oh, so I have other train mount builds here, which I can show you guys later. But we'll try this one and then we can do other stuff. Garlic did the thing. Uh, how about this? We can do ASCII on this build and we can do beige on the next thing I try. Cause I'm gonna try a few other things. How about that? Does that work? <clears throat> you should do the thing before the poll. You should do the thing. You, you can't do, you can't do the thing after the poll is over. It's, all, it's like saying, it's like saying I should disregard people's vote. JD, tell him. <laughs> He's giving me this this stink eye. Stop the steal. No, so we'll do Jim Kiaski and then we'll do something else after we try this. I have other builds, so look. I have I have an MX black build. I have an Alps build that we can try. And then I have beige. Oh, I have Ergo clears on the half plate. Is that a feel? Yes, it is. It is a feel. It is a feel. It is a round one fiel. This is a relic, man. This is like 2016. This is, that's some old shit. But yeah. 
Are all Alps clicky? No, they're not. There's linear clicky and there's linear clicky tactile. Yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of uh, Alps. Why do I, uh... Do I have GMK Aski on something else right now? Oh, I have it on my thermal! Oh, I was like, where's the 7U spacebar? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. The good thing is at least most of the key sets are already here. So I just need to get uh, the 2U backspace. And the 2U backspace and the step caps lock. And uh, I think that's it. And the control keys. Oh, and the pipe key. Uh, where's my control keys? Super control. Here's one. Meta, no. my other control key Do you guys see the other oh here it is finally <laughs> thermal's gonna get plundered <laughs> Does kind of sound like Legos, yeah. All right, so we're gonna try a few things today. We have time, so we're gonna try. We're gonna try this Peter's build first with ASCII, and then we may may take the one of the builds of the other boards and try that with Beige or something like that. Uh, it'll look good. We'll see. Alright. So let's take off keycaps here. Where's my, um. Why am I losing things today? Here it is. Okay. Oh, this is flexy as hell. Holy crap. Okay. All right.
Alright. They're both ABS, aren't they? For Legos? Yeah. Legos are ABS too, I believe, yeah. Thoughts on Japanese Desco? Uh, I'm personally not huge on it, but it looks fine. I'm not huge on the kidding, personally. Uh, and also, I don't know, the kids, it doesn't really evoke any feelings from me. It's like, whatever. Yeah. If you like it, then that's good. But yeah, personally, I, I, I feel indifferent. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this. This thing is bouncy as hell. Maybe we'll take the thermal caps here. Was wrong ASCII looks great yeah it looks pretty good right it looks good on the silver all right let's see Does that look okay yeah all right okay back just in time great awesome welcome back mr. Salvin Let's just test things out here. Make sure everything's working. Okay. All right. So, today's first build that we're going to try is a pewter build. Uh, so, it has pewters on a half FR4 plate that we used from my unicorn materials so here's a pewter switch with deskies films so we have deskies films on it and uh, yeah it's on the half fr4 plate uh, the wilbatech we're uh, weird flex wt 60d pcb so which you can currently find on novel keys and salvin.com for example but yeah we'll give this a shot oh i realize the backspace doesn't match We're using the wrong backspace key, I think. Yeah, that, 
that ticks me off. Are pewters on group buy right now? Uh, pewters are being sold in a lot of. Uh, it they had a like in stock sale for a bit, and maybe they're in group right now because they ran out of stock. So that is a possibility. All right, let's go. Let's try this. That space bar is nice. I'm gonna have to do a test again because that sounds so nice. <laughs> the space bar that like pop 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 sound. <sighs> that sounds good. Well, I'm gonna try this again, though. All right, let's let's try. This time, no no earbuds on or anything, so. Ooh, 129. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. No real time warps in my encounter? Yeah, I don't think I have it enabled, but yeah. It's, it's pretty good. This is nice, man. This is nice. First of all, the pewters sound really nice on this plate, which is something I didn't expect. Um, one thing I was concerned about the pewters when I was uh, lubing them. So I was lubing these pewters a couple of days ago. And um, I heard a bit of bit, a little bit of leaf ping, sort of leaf crunch, leaf ping, whatever that is. And um, I was a bit concerned that sound would come off during the typing test because the mic tends to capture a lot of extra sounds that I normally can't tell. But I also thought you know, maybe I could hear it directly. Like if I put the switch next to my ear, I could totally hear something. But I was like, oh, maybe it'll come off during the typing test. I'm not sure. Like it'll, maybe it'll come off like with the keycaps on, but it doesn't seem to come off. And so that's a good thing. First of all, I'm like not hearing unpleasant sounds from the pewters, which is something I initially thought might have been there, but it's actually not there. So that's good. So in, my, in a way, like I did a decent loop job, I think, for the switches. And at the same time, it because it doesn't come off, it means that it's an issue that I thought was bigger. Uh, I made it. I made it. Uh, I thought of it of a bigger issue than it really is. So I don't think it's an issue. Um, second of all, it just feels really good in this half plate build. First of all, the weird flex PCV I think really uh, kind of like 
helps the bounce like it's just everything sounds like nice and bouncy like it feels really nice and bouncy you can definitely tell that if i press down like i mean you can actually tell the you can see how the plate kind of the keycaps kind of like seem like they're singing in but that's because it really is very 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 flexible and you can actually tell you can actually hear that thing bottom out if I press very hard, right? But that's because of the weird flux PCB in combination with the half plate, right? So the half plate right now, basically there's nothing other than PCB in the main section of the alphas, right? So you can actually hear it bottom out. Right? If I press very hard, I'm pressing pretty hard for that. But I mean, overall when I'm typing, I don't bottom out. It just it's just very bouncy. It's very, very it's displacing quite a bit in there. Um so yeah. Quite a lot of flex. When it bottoms out, do you get multiple press from shorts? Does it bottom out from onto onto rubber or something? I'm pretty sure the bottom out sound is actually the Well, I'm currently seeing looking at the key presses and I don't get multiple key presses. Maybe I would get multiple key presses if I press multiple keys or something. No, no, I'm not getting any shorts. So multiple key presses you would get if you had many different pins bottom out at the same time. And it looks like what's bottoming out is actually either the leaf spring, it's either the leaf spring just touching the bottom of the channel, or it's the just the two switch pins of the key I'm pressing that's first touching the case, which again, if there's nothing else touching, then there's no issue. There's, it's not. There's not going to be an issue of like multiple columns or rows registering at the same time. So I do think it's the plate, uh, it's the leaf springs that are bottoming out in this case, because it's very flexible. Um, what's the difference between half plate and plateless when it's not mounted by the plate? The only difference will be the modifiers, half plate and plateless. The only difference will be the modifiers. Right now, the modifiers are supported by a plate including the number row. So the number row and then everything around here is supported by a plate. And anything between the Q and the bracket here, like this part here, is not supported by a plate. So in the half plate, you have more, like kind of more solidly supported, like you know, more support for modifiers, including the pipe key and the number row, but no support for the rest of the alphas. Yeah. Can you hot swap half plate? Yes, you can. Um, the only issue I see with half plate and hot swap, however, is that on the plateless section of the half plate, if you like press the key in an off axis direction, maybe you might dislodge the switch because it's only held by two pins that are closer to the top part here. And if you let's say you press it down here, I'm kind of fearful that maybe it'll like pop out or so, or something like that. So that's one thing. You can do it though. People do it all the time. People use oh my fuck. What the hell is going on? Is this a bot? Okay. Am I getting like? Um, uh, follow bots. Um, manga S. Okay, I'm gonna like stop those alerts. Pause alert queue. Is that how it works? That is so fucking weird. Oh my god. Okay, I apologize for that. Uh, okay. All right. Hey man, I just wanted to support the stream, so I bought you a few followers. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's uh, let's listen to the modifiers. Okay, hear the modifiers.
I'll just do the alphas anyway, each by row. What's up, Simon? Hello, hello. Um, do you find the pewters to be scratched at all? I don't, at least not after I lube them. They actually uh, feel pretty smooth. I actually think they're smoother than MX Browns that I've had, so. <laughs> hello, Gator people. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? So, anyway, welcome Raiders, welcome, welcome, thank you for the raid, Simone, hope you're doing okay. Um, so we just tried the pewters on a half plate, for those who missed out, I apologize, but uh, we will be trying a few other builds, actually, um, so let's actually give that a shot. Any tips for choosing keycaps and color for keyboards? Um, just in general, like uh, think of a bit of. Um, you can start thinking of. Oopsie. I mean, like colors, like you know, if you want to go for large amount of contrast, then you you know obviously pair like light colors with dark colors, and then think of like the color wheel. Like if you look at the color wheel, there's like complementary colors. And like adjacent colors and you can look into that a bit and basically pick things according to the color wheel. Read your type test? Okay fine. I'll do I'll do one type test with the Peters and then we'll we'll redo a type test with the Peters and then we'll switch over to the next build. Okay. Nice tofu, thanks. I like tofu. All right, let's try this again on pewters. All right, here you go. Quote tofu, yeah. These are just the it's pretty nice sound, yeah. It's a half plate, so quite a bit of bounce there with a the weird flex PCB. All right, so we were what we were about to do though, we were going to try a few different builds too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 
and so I'm not even gonna bother moving the mic but basically we're just gonna put this off first The spacebar does sound pretty nice. All right, so we take out this build. All right, y'all want to pick what you want. We have okay. Um, we have half plate aluminum with MX blacks. We have half plate polycarb with. Ergo clears, and we have orange Alps. Actually, I think brown Alps on the modifiers, but yeah. Ergo clears. All right, let's try Ergo clears first. So oh, here, let's see, I don't remember why the, how many screw points I used, so let's try. We'll try the Alps one for sure anyway, so actually we'll just try all of them, what the, what the hell, doesn't matter. We'll try them uh, one by one, just need to get to all of them. One, two, three, four. Do I have any money points here? I can't remember. Nope. Okay, that's pretty much it. Four money points, I think. So, right. Yo, what are these follow? Okay, how do I, hold up, how do I, uh... I'm just gonna time out Streamlabs. Goodbye. <laughs> I timed out Streamlabs. <laughs> Oh, I have some shelf liner here. Cool. Okay. Don't, re don't remember that. But this is my uh, duck poker case. I have never seen one. It's pretty cool. Has these cool chrome plated brass weights. Hello, Diego. Do you know anyone who's streaming a Blue Salvation build? Salvin! Do we know anyone who's streaming a Blue Salvation build? Doc Poker so OG now. Yeah, it's old stuff. Old stuff. Tighten this too much. This one now. Alex had a red one, yeah. Oh, forgot this is USB mini. Hmm. 
Oh, so USB mini ports fit fine. Oh, wait. It's not focusing. USB mini port, and that's, uh, I believe this is a B60 PCB? I forget what kind of PCB I used on this. It's a white PCB. It might be B60. The, yeah, the B, B face? B60. Right. The Salvation doesn't use USB-C? No, it does. It does. The, it fits both. It fits any left side USB is what I'm trying to say. This build I had... Yeah. The original Salvation build is this one. And I'm trying a different plate PCB combo. Alright. Let's try this one out. So this one has, um, I'm just gonna write it down, so if you wanna copy it down, it's basically, uh, let me see, I think I wrote it down here, exactly, uh, where's my, let's see, poker, poker, Okay, so this has MX clears with 62 gram springs and red TX films, lubed with Tribosis 3203, so pretty lightly lubed. Um, so I'll just write that down. So it's MX clears, 62 gram springs, TX films, Tribosis 3203, and have polycarbonate plate. Okay, so that's what this build is. And oh, the keycaps are CRP, you know, APL. All right, so we'll get started on this one. All right, here you go. That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna just do the mods for y'all. Very different for sure. Uh, these are ergo clears, so that's why. All right. A bit pingier on this one. How is ergo, ergo clear tactility? Ergo clear tactility compared to pewters is gonna be much more pronounced. Um, pewters are designed to be like MX Browns, and these are MX clears. So it should be par with clears. Yes, these are indeed MX clears. So yeah. Half plate doesn't mask enough to the tactile switch chatter. Blast will probably sound a lot better. 
yeah i don't know i, I like I li i've been i enjoy this particular ergo clear build with the half plate uh it's something i've kind of been used to i i've had this build for over three years now so yeah this build is like three years old almost yeah it's been a while so i'm like a boomer but yeah so that's what this build is like we'll try the mx black one next probably and then we can do the alps last or actually we'll do alps first because it's a tactile switch and then we'll do the mx black build last as a linear build what loop would you reckon for ergo clearers? I have some that I need to get around to looping. I personally like uh, Tribosis 3203 or 3204. Either of them works fine. So either of those two should be good, I think. I personally don't like using thick lube on tactiles. All right, next build. Oh, wait, no. I said I was going to do Alps. So for Alps, let's see, I don't know where I put the, how did I attach these, I put these in, okay. points that I use on this and one half to below the space bar nope I think I just use the ones on the sides actually so let's try that uh, where's my screwdriver One more there. Can't see it. Though. Yeah, this is a big old BAE build. Big ass enter. Is that it? So many more attachment points I'm forgetting about. Maybe the space bar has one. I don't know if it did. Did I? Look. No, that might be it. Just remember. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Which ones am I missing? Give me one second. Um, oh crap! I need to. I need to type something. Um. Let's see. I do have a screw there. Okay, so with this. Okay, uh, the space bar is always a hassle though. Hopefully this won't ruin the space bar. It took a bit of tuning to get it right. Okay. You should come off now.
think I've done this before, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, should come off now, but I just have to push it from here. Oh, it must have been so long since I removed this assembly. There we go. All right, there we go. It's out. Yay! Okay. Let's put the space bar back. Space bar took a bit of fiddling, so damn it. Okay. Oops. Okay. go and screws Sorry if I'm not responding in chat. Oh, Space Gables, thank you so much for the five gifted tier one subs. Thank you so much. Do you think Trainmaster has a place in this hobby? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Um, reason being that Trainmount helps with... It has versatility. Uh, with with Trainmount, you can swap out builds pretty easily, as you can see. Like, you can, I'm, being, I'm swapping out builds one by one. You can have multiple builds, different plates, different materials, or whatever. And you can easily swap them out. Trainmount is cheap to make, first of all. Um, and so, there's a lot of options. Like... It's very playable, yeah. You can fit a lot of PCBs. You can fit, you know, you can do a lot of different things um, with Trayma. So I personally don't think, I personally don't think Trayma should be phased out because it, it's it's like an easy way to experiment. So yeah. So any 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 sixty percent. Plate will and PCB will work with the salvation as long as it's like a standard 60% like any for other tray mounts and so this one should work too. So this one has, interestingly enough, this one will have so this this particular scenario we actually have a build with Alps switches. Um Yes, but actually no. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but no. It's like same, same, but different. So this has orange. Oops. This. Uh, crap. Hold on. Hold on. I have the caps lock on. And can I have it on? Off now? Okay. So this one has orange SKCM. Oh, uh, SKCM orange Alps, rather. SKCM orange Alps. Wait, the space bar is slightly 
stuff here. And uh, on alphas and uh, brown alves on mods. And the plate is just uh, an acrylic plate. It's an acrylic plate. And yeah. Uh, this was one. Of my, this was one of my first Alps builds ever, and so it's not amazing. I've kept it because of the sentimental value. Um, I really still do enjoy typing on this, but I definitely don't type on it as much as I used to. The FR four springs will they wear out? Does GB have extra FR four? Uh, the FR four springs, the leaf springs. I don't think they'll wear out easily. Can you get extra ones? I'm sure you could easily make extra ones. Like maybe with the plate file is out there. I mean the the leaf spring like you know file is out there, so you could easily make a lot of these very for very cheap. Um. So yeah, this is smoked acrylic of a plate. It's like a wind keyless sort of because that's what the IBM fifty one forty key set initially supported. I switched out the alphas from the you know fifty one forty for this uh, Taihao quad pad print set uh, that I got. So yeah, let's try it out. It's not gonna, it's not gonna sound fantastic, I think. So don't have high expectations because this is like a early build. I didn't know much, but I want to try Alps. So here goes. Allocates are not meant for Alps. I do actually agree with that a lot because I do think the plastic, big plastic chassis that Alps come in sound excellent. I have a few Alps cases like uh, like plastic, like vintage keyboards, and I could always bring those out to to talk about them. Uh, but yeah, um, so here's the mods. Oh, yeah. Well, so my thought is this build definitely sounds better in this particular case just because the other case is a bit hollow and so has some issues with sound. And also the bounciness is pretty like it's nice and welcome. I like the I like the bounciness of the Alps build here, um, but I would say that I kind of don't. I, I think as far as this particular Alps build goes, it's like I'm not too invested, and so, um, yeah. Curious when you're typing on it, can you feel it compress? You can definitely feel it. Yes, you can definitely feel the 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 bounciness. I mean, it's not as dramatic in this case now that I have a thick acrylic plate. But you can still see, you can still see the the plate move. Like if I press, right? You can see it like here. You could see it move a bit um, when I'm pressing. And so yeah, you can definitely feel that. So you can definitely feel that as you type on things. Um, it's definitely much more dramatic on much more dramatic on. The weird flex PCB because the weird flex PCB doesn't 
have, I mean, it has those cutouts here and here. Oops, these keycaps keep moving around. Um, so yeah. Uh, 1.5, three millimeter, five. I'm pretty sure it's three millimeter, because it's it doesn't yeah it doesn't cover the full span of the uh, in between. Favorite configuration so far? I really like the Peterbilt personally, um, because it 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 the I think the half plate really suits the tactiles, but um, yeah I think uh I would use I maybe would try linears too at some point, um, but so far I actually. Have really been enjoying the the pewter build we had earlier at the, for, at the beginning was pretty enjoyable um has that cool like popping space bar sound and i like light tactiles like that so i, I like that one first a lot but again it's like first impression so maybe i'm biased but yeah so that was the alps build um yeah this one's fun too and finally, we have the MX Black build. So we'll move on to that. So here we have a build with, I'm gonna just turn on the music for a bit. But here we have a build with MX Black switches. Uh, maybe I'll move this up. MX Black switches and um, in a half aluminum plate. So, a bit different. Uh, let's see. Oops. Right. Oh, come on. This one has not in the middle. have a MX Black build on the half aluminum plate. This is an old uh, ZL60 PCB. On the salvation, what are the points on the far sides for? Um, so they are actually standard mounting points if you... So the, the reason these far sides are there for, designation rock, is if these, if these don't work out for you, is these don't work out for you, you can move these over here and they'll fit the mounting positions here, the side mounting positions. So these two right here in between the caps lock and the shift and the enter and the function key right here, these two on my index fingers here. Those mounting points correspond to those positions. Yeah. Is it purple? It looks so blue in the face cam. Oh, do you mean the Fiel? The Fiel is purple. The Fiel is purple, it's a dark purple with a stainless steel plate. Uh, stainless steel uh, weights. Round one. It's a relic. All right, so this is now going in. Okay, fits. How much does the salvation weigh built? Oh, I haven't measured the weight yet. Uh, we can just uh, weigh it after I put this in. How about that? But I th would say it's not crazy heavy. It's not too heavy. Okay.
Uh, I can weigh it. Let's see. Alright, it will weigh three pounds and five ounces, which is 1.5 kilograms built ish. 1.5 kilograms. Pretty good for 60%. Do you have to return the proto salvation? I believe not. I believe I get to keep it. Alright, so how do you like the salvation? I'm liking it so far. We're trying different things out. So now we're gonna try a MX Black with half aluminum build. So let's try that out. Alright, here goes the next one. You try plateless? Uh, half plate is pretty close to plateless, so I think I don't need to. How does typing compare to your thermal? It's a different feel. It's a different feel because the the leaf springs are kind of everywhere, whereas on the thermal they're around the edges. Make sure it moves down cleanly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a little tight. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine here. Yeah, okay. So the plate won't hit the case. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's... Uh... No, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's cleared. So We're good. Thanks for the heads up. Okay. Alright. This is an MX Black on half aluminum. I believe these switches I lubed with... What did I lube these with? Pretty sure it was either Tribosis 3203 or 3204. Okay, here it is. So these are retooled MX Blacks from a couple of years, like from several years ago. So these are gonna be retooled MX Blacks with Tribosis 3204 and a half aluminum plate. So like TX Films half aluminum plate. Okay, so that's what the build for this one is. So let's now try this again. Too many alerts, I'm gonna pause it for a sec. All right. All right, here we go. So that's what this one is like. Oh, Streamlabs is back. Are we still getting massacred by follow bots? Maybe. All right, here are the mods for this one.
Sounds a bit hollow on the corners. Yeah, it does. I, I am noticing that too, Spike. Mm-hmm. The, the corners sound a little bit hollow. Both corners, actually. Yeah. I'm noticing the same thing, too. Yeah, pretty flexy. And uh, can you show the USB port with the cable in it? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. There. Is that good? Alu played the culprit? I think so, actually. I think Alu is making that's causing that reverb a bit in the same case. Because we certainly didn't hear it in the case of FR4, right? I think we didn't hear it so much. Mini USB? <laughs> yeah. That's a professional looking cable. Where do you get it? Uh, a friend made it for me, so uh, it's not. Um, might be coming close to the case as well. Possibly. We can check, but uh, yeah. Production version will have more plate clearance as well. Sounds good. Notice any clearance issue with the USB when typing heavy in the top left? Clearance issue with the USB. When typing heavy in the top left. So if I. You're trying to say if I like pressed really hard on this? No, not really. I mean, like, maybe it'll push right. No. I mean, I think the heat shrink will stop it around the, you know, around the cable, uh, the housing of the connector. So I don't think there's an issue there. Yeah. Abstract on layer. But yeah, um, so that's what that one is like. So yeah, which ones do you guys like best? Was there anything you liked more than others? Oh, sorry. I do think the pewter build sounded pretty good. How's Yana on the silver? It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, I'll, I think I did like the first build quite a lot, the pewter one. But the silver looks like this. I'm gonna take out the typing test window. I'll take a look. It's a nice silver here. Very nice and fine and smooth. Has a texture of fine sand. Yeah. Pewter build is the best? Yeah, I think so too. I think the pewter build sounded the best. Let's actually switch back to it. There's a lot of switching today. I'm not used to doing so many build swaps at the same time. So much tidy up to do afterward. Yeah, I do. I do. So this is the original build we first did. That's in the build command. It was the half FR4 plate build with pewters. Okay, so this build was pretty nice. We can try this one. It's a PC hot swap. There is a hot swap option, right, Salvin? But uh, I got a solderable one, so I got a solderable PCB. Burrito run, I'm actually trying to save money, so I'm probably gonna just cook at home. Yeah. It's spending too much. I need to save. So no burrito run. Just gonna just gonna cook something and eat at home. 
So this one does have a USB-C port. So we plug that in. And we can do a typing test again, I guess. I can uh, show you guys one last time about this one. This one sounded pretty good in my opinion. Sorry about the mess on the desk, just the nature of things as you do these things. So let's try one last time. Here we go. So this is now Pewter's on a half FR port plate build, the first build we did. And here we go. Oops, caps locks on. Ah, damn it, I forgot about the full backspace. Spacebar it does sound nice and poppy. So again, here are the mods. Oh, pingy. Maybe Salvin's right. Maybe I'm a bit on the lower edge. I think it's inevitable I'm copying a salvation. Is it compatible with DT60 or Intent60? Uh, it should be because it has a left-sided USB port for those two. So yeah, it should fit. It should fit. Is this gray or silver? This is silver. This is silver. Definitely adding more corner clearance. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea, um, Salvi. I think it's very slight, but maybe it'll make a difference. Um, but let me double check, why not? Because there's only two screws, so it's pretty easy to adjust. But yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the build so far? Which one do you like more? Um, the sound profile is very similar to thermal. It kind of is, yeah. It kind of does sound a bit like that, yeah. better for the clearance and yeah I think we're good All right, 
Perfect. Can we see a 360 view? Of course we can show you a 360 view. Late, I guess. You are late, Mr. Druas. How are you, though? Well, you're late in terms of we tried all these different builds and now you're here? You're so late. We started at 10 a.m. Eastern. So here is the build. Here is the front. The side. The back. Slightly angled. And here's the bottom. So it is definitely silver. You can see it change in the light. It definitely is a light gray. It's silver. It's not. It it it, it definitely is silver. You know, it's not white. It's definitely not white. So yeah. Yeah, so this gray is pretty nice. It's a very neutral gray. It's a very neutral gray, so it looks good on most, a lot of different cases. Yeah, the GMK ASCII. All right. Um, so I'm gonna start uh, putting some of the builds back into the cases that they were in. But um, I'm here to answer any questions. So I'll actually be here for maybe a cup, maybe like 10, 15 more minutes. We'll answer some questions. If you have any questions, any doubts, any concerns, whatever, you know, uh, I guess let me know in chat. Tag me if you feel like I'm not answering your questions. Uh, yeah. But, um... So let me know. But I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be just putting these back together. I feel bad for asking, you said you're hungry and you just did a 360, can you show the flex? Yeah, sure. Oh, don't worry about me being hungry, that's, that's like my my problem. <laughs> I have cookies here and I have other things and I'll go and eat lunch anyway, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing my job, which is to show you guys what this is about. And, well, I, I like doing this, so I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. All good. It's all good. All right. So the uh, the flex, right? You want to see the flex? Sure. So let me see if I can. Can I show it from the side? Will it show? Is a question. There. Maybe. Maybe that'll show. Is that visible? <laughs> this thing moves a lot. Feel a bit of flex while typing, or is it subtle? I think it's you can definitely feel it because of the weird flex PCB. I think the weird flex PCB definitely accentuates the feeling. Um, so if you do are using the weird flex PCB that's going to be included with the kit, uh, you'll most definitely feel it while typing. I think it's very apparent because the weird flex PCB has these big cuts from here and here and you can definitely feel that difference. If it's a regular PCB, it's a bit less substantial, but you can still feel the overall bounds of the uh, of the plate, kind of, or, or like the PCB kind of like going up and down a bit. Um, it's a bit less pronounced, but it's there, yeah. 
But the Weirflex PC definitely accentuates it quite a lot, um, I'll say. Um, of course, if you build plateless versus with the plate, that also is going to make a substantial difference. Yeah. So in this case, it's this is kind of like the extreme of a flex or like a flexible, you know, well displacing assembly because this has a half plate, which basically means plateless all over the alphas, and we're using a you know a BFR four plate and the weird flex PCB. So this is kind of like the far extreme of all that. This is like the most flexible this could be. Yeah. So in, this is not subtle, but if you use a full plate and maybe not a weird flex PCB, it would not be as pronounced. So it would actually be a bit more subtle. Is the FR4 plate standard or an option? It's going to be the included plate. The included default plate, it looks exactly like this. We actually did not use the original plate that came in. I used the half FR4 plate that I happen to have in my stash of 60% plates. The reason we did that was because I wanted to try half FR4 today. And I figured instead of cutting this out, I'll just use what I have, right? Um, so that's what we did. Um, so right now, this is the plate that will come with the board and, um, you know, like you'll get like a weird flex PCB that looks like this. So this is, this is what the weird flex PCB looks like, right? And you can see that this is quite extreme, like, um, you know, this flex is quite a lot. And so that's why you feel that a lot more when you use this PCB versus any other PCB because, you know, these cuts are pretty dramatic. It's called weird flex for a good reason. But yeah. Uh, so the combination of this PCB with a half plate, or this combination of uh, combination of this PCB with a no plate, even will definitely make it feel very substantial on this particular salvation case. But yeah, how does it feel though? Nice or mushy? I personally think it's nice. I'm actually, I personally really like the bouncy feel of boards. So I personally think it's very nice. Some people might feel it's mushy for them. And the good thing is you have always the option to go with full plate. You always have the option to not use this included PCB. You can always use any other 60% PCB that has a left sided USB port. You can always add, you can always add more pads. You can always add the pads closer to the tip of the leaf springs, which basically means it's not gonna displace as much, right? There's many ways, so this, this case enables you to customize it to any extent. You can change the position of the leaf of the pour on pads under the leaf springs. You can change your plate. You can change your PCB, right? Your build itself. So many possibilities, and it's all up to you. So there's no best worst it's it's something that if you want to do it you'll do it all right how would you describe the flex or bounce when it comes to tactiles is it like a double bounce no i don't think it's a double bounce i think it's not a double bounce it's just you can just feel the downstroke have uh, that like trampoline like feeling, but it's, I don't think it's a, like, I don't want I would not call it like a double bounce. No, it's not like obnoxious or anything like that. If that's kind of like what you're worried about. Have you seen the Piggy 60? Yeah, is that the board by Jackie from the person who did the uh, elephant and the bear, I believe? I think that's a Piggy 60, right? Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. No problem. You know, like, when you get double bounce on the trampoline, it's like, whoa, this is unsafe. <laughs> oh yeah, I know exactly what you're trying to say. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel that way. I don't think it's that. I don't, I don't really think it's that. I mean, I can like... I 
don't have plug in, so it's fine. No, no, I don't think it's that. I mean, in normal typing, you certainly won't feel that way at all. Even if you type a little heavily, I don't think it feels that way. Yeah. Alright, last one. I think for this one, I might just skip on one of the screws under the space bar. It's too annoying. Type like a monster because I learned to type playing StarCraft. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a, like obnoxious or anything. You should, I think you should give it a shot. Worst case scenario, you don't like it and you know what you like. Or you know what you would want uh, on a future, future board. So it's not the end of the world. Does the fact that the keyboard doesn't have a daughter board bother you at all when you try to flex the board? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. Or the board, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, no, it doesn't bother me. I don't think, like, if you're trying to allude to the fact that you think it might snap or something, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's very hard. Like, you would really have to be excessively aggressive if you want to break something. If you're breaking something that way, it probably means you're not treating your keyboards right you know what i mean I, I just don't really think that's gonna that would realistically happen on normal use even if you were unreasonable i don't think you'd have to really try to break something so yeah that enter key what about this enter key Thanks for the answers. Oh, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big enter key. Big ass enter. All right, okay, so. All right, let's see. So, let me see what else do we have here. Any final questions? Um, I don't think I have anything else for this now. Mm, don't have any final questions or what's included in the kits. Any, like, remaining doubts? I'm. Happy to answer any questions. What's included in the case though, it, under the kit is gonna be pretty straightforward. Things are gonna be, um, so in the case, so it comes with these pour on pads that go under the leaf springs. It comes with the leaf springs themselves, which will come in this, like in this case, they come in this form where you just snap it off. Um, you'll have these little nipple rubber thingies for the standoffs, as standoffs, or rubber standoffs. You'll have two steel standoffs as well. You'll hit, you'll have the feet for the case. Um, and then you'll have screws for, for the standoffs as well as for the PCB. Can you give one final look at the bottom? Absolutely, no problem. No problem, no problem. And how much it'll cost? Oh, never mind. Do you think it'll be easy to Cerakote that silver alu in white? Yeah, Cerakote, you, if you have an aluminum case, you'll the Cerakote process involves stripping the anodizing. So you strip the... The above is the Wilbatech. Yes, this is the Wilbatech Salvation. The Wilbatech Salvation, it's going to be made by Salvin, our machinist in Belgium. Here it is. Here's the bottom. Keycaps on it. This is GMK ASCII. GMK A S C I I. GMK ASCII with its icon mod kit. 
the machining looks so nice it's very nice uh what i'm impressed by in particular is like you know it has these like nice sharp corners and like like nothing's wrong like it just sounds and it just feels really good to hold nothing's like excessively sharp or anything and the texture is nice with the anodizing the anodizer did a fantastic job on this Scuff looks so clean, yeah. Scuff feet. Nice long feet. Rubber feet. Did you end up weighing it yet? Yeah, I did. It's 1.5 kilograms. Does it look closer to the moon colored wave Kara? Oh, hmm. Good question. Sure, we can check that out actually. Let's bring the Kara out. So the moon actually looks slightly darker. It's like a hue darker. So the moon is actually like a gray, whereas the silver is like a silver, yeah. In the same lighting. Yeah. Are the bezeled edges sharp? You mean these edges here? No, they're not sharp. They're not they're not very sharp. Is it a good way for a 60? Yes it is. It is a good way for a 60. So this is the moon Kara. Moon Kara, and this is the silver lightning silver salvation. Did I miss a sound test chat? Uh you missed like you missed like 10 sound tests, by the way. <laughs> Cause we did like a lot of different builds too. I apologize though. What color would you pick? Like for a salvation? Lighting silver is definitely one because it's named after me. How would I not buy something that's named after me? <laughs> and if I could buy a second one, I would get either out. I'm torn. I'm torn. I would be torn between the samurai blue and the red. Ah, that's a tough choice. Oh, cry me a river. I don't know. I want all three. <laughs> I want all three. I want all of them. They're so good. The, the anodized colors for the red and the blue came out so nice. I mean, and you know, gray and black. The thing is, I already have gray and black boards. And I, I also feel like if I miss out on gray and black, I can always get the gray and black in other group buys and stuff. But that red and that blue mm. Ooh, whew. so good so good oh Mart how are you doing is there a link to your collection no there isn't just forget about yourself and pick blue and red who's building the blue salvation I don't know actually it, uh, I'm not sure did, did Salvin mention anything earlier I don't know but yeah, <laughs> yeah. It depends on what keycap sets you have to match. Yeah, 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 for sure. But the blue salvation, goddamn, red too. I don't know. They both look too, so good, so nice. Oh well. I, I, of course, I'm a, I'm a silver and blue aesthetic kind of guy. Gray, blue, blue, gray, all that stuff. It's definitely my jam. But yeah, the red ones looks really hot too, though. But yeah, I mean, if you wanted to compare like a darker gray, like this is moon, uh, moon thermal. So if you wanted to compare a gray with, uh, gray with silver, it's a very drastic, it's a very clear difference here, right? That's silver, that's gray, right? And so, yeah, so this is gray and this is silver. So you can tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> that clank made me cringe. <laughs> yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just the edge of the case. It's because this guy's a bit more hollow. Yeah, but yeah. The Alex build for the red has a comparison of both with two slightly different builds. Oh, cool. Very cool. But yeah, that's what I got for you, friends. 
Wazuki, thank you so much. 60% stays goaded, indeed. Year of the 60, my friend. It's the yachts. Year of the 60 this year. Or the past year. Is that FR4 play a fingerprint magnet? Let's see. Uh, maybe if you have greasy hands or sweaty hands, you could see that, but it's not as bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's like, it could be worse, I think. Like, like it, could, it could be worse. I think it's so, like, it has that sheen to it that it doesn't seem to leave as bad of a mark. Maybe if your hands are greasy, though. But it's not, it's not too bad. Can you describe the difference in feel between Salvation and Thermal? Describe the difference in feel. So... How would I describe that? Salvation is a bit... I mean, I'll say Thermal is... Uh, I mean, obviously I'm typing on stems right now, but like I'm not really typing on it. I'm just kind of trying to remember or try to describe it. Um, I don't know. How do I, how do, can I describe this difference? Okay. First of all, if you're using the weird flex PCB that's included with the salvation, that alone is going to make a huge difference in feel. Because when you type on the Weird Flex PCB, no matter what kind of build you do with the Weird Flex PCB, that middle section that has this the, the cutouts just completely changes the feel of the alphas. Of the middle segment of the alphas. Completely changes it. It causes it to be like a lot more, you know, it has all that displacement right there in the middle but nowhere else. So that alone already changes a lot. But assuming that we're constant, right? The thermal actually does feel a bit more solid. Like, as in like, it does have that displacement and bounciness, trampoline-like bounciness, like when you're typing on it. But the the but the the the, the, the blah, blah, sorry, the displacement on the the thermal is kind of like even out around the edges, and so it's like it's like the plate is displacing as a whole rather than a particular segment, right? Like it's right rather than a particular part of the plate, kind of like moving one like a little more than the other in the in the thermal it kind of feels like the whole thing has room to like go up and down like this and it's very slight because you're talking about moving this entire assembly like down right and it's attached by like the the corners right like it's attached top mount right and by the corners right uh, and so and so that like will that will determine sort of like where your stiff points are like the stiff points are like this this like that right uh, like around the edges whereas on the salvation there's no such attachment towards the edges so for example the the corners right the corners are very flexy because there's nothing to support it there and and he, on, on the salvation the leaf springs are positioned in certain posi like in certain places around the I mean, all over the case so the so the flex so the, like that flexibility it's it's gonna be like very it's gonna vary depending on where you're pressing. Yeah, thermal jumping on an even trampoline, salvation jumping on a normal trampoline. Yeah, that kind of sounds a bit more like it. yeah, yeah. I think Eric has a kind of point there. Um, like the the salvation definitely feels like it just depends on where you're pressing, and the, there's a bit of that unevenness and in the bounciness but it's still very nice because in normal typing you don't type that hard and even if you type slightly hard like you're gonna see this whole like alpha cluster move with it with your typing and even if you like let's say you did plateless on this and like you had no plate support on the like you know num num row or the modifiers right the the leaf springs are kind of placed in all different places like there's like 10 of them yeah, it just, it, that's kind of how I feel about it. It, it. They're different though. They're not the same. I can't say that it's one to one. I can't compare it and say one is better than the other. They're just different. Did Salvin mention ESE protection? I have never had issues with PCBs getting fried. Just FYI. Would the hotspot feel, would the hotspot version feel different? I don't think it'll be significant, no. So, oh, Salvin mentioned that the hotspot PCB does not have flex cuts. If that is the case, then they will feel different. 
the flex the the cuts the cuts on the weird flex PCB definitely contribute quite a lot to uh, that like separation between the alphas and the modifiers, for example. Mm -hmm. Thermal thermal is more of a piston motion. Okay. Hmm. How does the end quality compare between the two? Between the thermal and the salvation. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. Um, that's a good question. Between the thermal and the salvation. Okay, I can say that. Okay, I can describe this. Uh, the thermal actually has a finer feel to it, texture-wise. Texture-wise, I do think the salvation has a slightly more fine sand-like feeling, while the feeling of the thermal actually does feel a little bit more of that like MacBook sort of anodizing where it's like just smooth like you don't even feel like a surface texture the anodizing on the salvation right now does feel like it has a slight bit of surface texture and so you can kind of feel that there's a bit of like friction and like it's not a bad thing because it still is very smooth and it's very even there's no streaking or anything like that so the anodizing quality is excellent but definitely slightly more textured on the salvation than on the thermal um as far as like the anodizing kind of like the way it reflects the light i feel like because this case is silver and sort of like a bit matte colored it's hard to tell but if this were like a very similar grade to this maybe it'll be similarly reflective uh but right now just like on the first impressions the salvation does kind of look like it's a bit more matte colored a bit flatter on the finish whereas the in this case the thermal does have a lot of variation in the light just because of the way it's finished it's like maybe smoother so it reflects the light in different directions more kind of like more eagerly or more yeah but yeah do you get the unboxing official unboxing experience for the thermal yes i did um well the salvation i didn't get the original salvation unboxing experience in the sense that i don't know if the salvation unboxing experience is how it's going to be changed by the time it ships um the way it, the prototypes are shipped in normal cardboard boxes with you know bubble wrap and other things and that unboxing experience was nice but i don't know if there's going to be like official packaging for the salvation and that kind of stuff so i don't know right now what that would be like for you guys when production units start shipping yeah Lightning, thank you for the really excellent comparison description. Any difference in the Weirflex Avocado PCB, the solder and hot swap PCBs? Not sure if this is, it is a bit more of a will of a question, uh, but I can at least say that between hot swap and solderable, I don't really think there's gonna be a big difference in feel. If Wilba did say that the flex cuts might be gone, then that will change the feeling of it. Um, but as, as far as hot swap versus solderable, like if you're typing on the two and they're basically identical aside from hot swap sockets being present, I don't really think there's gonna be a difference like a, in feel. There are no flux cuts in hot swap. Okay, there you go. There, there is no point in you cannot build a playlist. Okay, there you go. So hot swap is definitely gonna feel different. Hot swap, the hot swap PCB is definitely gonna feel different because it doesn't have the flex cuts. Yep. Do you think GAT inks can fit in the plate since GAT switches are fat? I think they'll fit, yeah. Didn't, did someone build with GAT inks yet? Did um, Apiary build with GAT inks? Might have, I'm not sure. There will be nice packaging, still working on that. There you go. What do you think the leaf springs do? I mean, the leaf springs, what they do is very, I mean, it's, the mechanism of the leaf springs is very simple. I kind of should remove the case to sh I, I'll just remove it, fuck it. Um, where's my... It, it, the mechanism is actually not rocket science, guys. The mechanism of the leaf spring is not rocket science. It's actually so... It's so, so ingenious that, you know, Wilba just was like, Oh, what if you balance the plate and the... I mean, the plate, the PCB assembly and these things, right? It's very ingenious um, because it's very simple. But it works. Ingenious things tend to be simple, right? Like, they, like things that you're like, oh my god, that's genius. Yeah, they tend to be simple things. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea. It's very simple though. Look, the way these work, 
Okay, the way these things work, literally, it's a bar of FR4, and it's, there is a, look, there is a, oh, come on, focus, 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 okay, do you see that poron pad down there, right, you see that poron pad, all it does, see how there is a ledge here, and there is the screw hole? Okay, the leaf spring is super simple. It just is being held in one position, and all it does is, the porn pad is just there as a support, so it doesn't completely bottom out too quickly. It basically is giving it a bit more stiffness to the leaf springs. So the porn pads actually are preventing this thing from just like straight up just bending down and bottoming out. So it's a bit of like a suspension. Is this like a Corvette leaf swing suspension? I mean, yeah, sure, you can think of it as, yeah, it's like a suspension. It's just like a spring, right? It's acting like, it's like a seesaw. It's like a seesaw. It's a, it's like, it's it's just like boing, like it's like a chair. You're just, it's 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 just, the, the PCB is just sitting on top of these rubber standoffs all around, all across the plate. I mean, the case. And um, you're just pressing down on it because it's being held in one end and not being held in the other. Can you hear the leaf spring bottoming out? Yes, you can if you really pressed hard, yeah. So earlier I was bottoming out on the PCB, but that was only because I was really pressing very, very hard. But that's how it works. That's how the leaf spring works. Basically, it's just this, but spread all, all across the case, which is super smart, super smart to do this. And so simple. <laughs> all it does, like all they had, you know, all they had to do with these is create these channels, have these sticks, with a way to keep them, hold them in place, and the other end is not held in place, so it allows that to move down. It's smart, smart design. Again, not trying to sound like a shill or anything, I just think it's just ingenious. Um, but yeah. Yo, Diego, mean, been meaning to ask, wait, hold on, let me. Been meaning to ask, between the HHKB Pro Hybrid, Hybrid Type S and Classic, what do you recommend? So, between the hybrid and classic, there's no difference other than the fact that hybrid is, I believe, Bluetooth. So if you want Bluetooth, they have a different aesthetic in the sense that the Bluetooth one has a big battery, AA battery compartment in the back. If you don't like that bump then, but if you prioritize Bluetooth, the Bluetooth version is super good. The Bluetooth capability of the HKB is really nice, like the stock one. So if you are if you want Bluetooth, I recommend a hybrid, no, that, like, no doubt. Between Type S and cla uh, or normal though, uh, that's only if you want um, silencing. Uh, it kind of depends on, do you have sound requirements that require you to you know, type softly and quietly, then Type S is good. Uh, you can always use aftermarket uh, Topper silencing rings like the Silence X from KV fans or the Desk Keys, film, uh, the Desk Keys rings, for example, uh, which are other options that you can try, but that means you have to do the modifying yourself. So there's that. What loop do you recommend with HHKB? I personally recommend uh, 3204 for everything and then 205 on the stab wires. Yeah. All right, I think that should answer the questions in chat. But yeah, that's like a porn pad on the thermal. It's the exact same porn pad like on the thermal. Mm -hmm. It's the same oval porn pad. All right, I think that's it, all right. Have I answered every burning question in chat? Have I exhausted myself of... But yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask. And um, yeah, I think I've answered most frequently asked questions though. So. All right. You a typing test again? Uh, I'm kind of tired, <laughs> but sure, why not? It's a minute. It's already been four hours. Holy crap! I think I'm kind of done. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think you should go back on the VOD. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. I've, 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 I've done... I, I think, I think, I think you should just watch the VOD. I, I'm sorry. I, I tried, okay? Alright, well, I think I've answered all the questions in chat. Um, I'm gonna refund Garlic his points because I feel bad about it. Um, so I refund his points. Streamed as much as you slept. <laughs> True that. Thank you. Although I did sleep a little longer the, the weekend, during the weekend, so. Appreciate it, though. Um, let's see if there's anybody to raid. I'm not sure if there it would be at this hour of the day. It's a bit early for people to be streaming, so. Um, we might actually just end up not... Oh! Alex is streaming! He's streaming early today! Oh, okay. We can raid Alex. Or we can raid... There's Alex, Yuri, Tim Keyless, I am me, you are you, is also streaming. Liskits. All right, I'll do a quick poll. Raid, Alex Otos, uh, Yuri, um, Tim Keyless, Liskits, and I am. Oh wait, I am me. You are you. Liskits. All right. All right. There's a poll. Um. So you can vote who you want to go and check out what they're up to. Uh, let me. I can name what they're doing. Alex is two hours into his Proto Delta Blade build, so he's probably close to being done. Tim Keyless, I think he's soldering a Type Machina Jane 1.5. List Kids is doing some chores. Yuri is doing KBD AX Mark Two. Send us to Alex. Sounds good. All right. Well, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for for now. But um, if I do a full plate build, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably I'll probably be focusing on a few other things before I do the full plate build. So I actually I don't think you should expect the full plate build before the group buy is over. Or I might try, but I'm not sure if I will be able to, to get to it. But I have other things to, to, to do. So if I do a full plate build, maybe before the group buy ends, maybe I'll just do it and record something. So I might do that. All right, let's uh, send over the rate to Mr. Alex Otos. Um, thank you everybody for stopping by. Thank you 170 viewers and thank you for the raids um earlier today chew you're late do you just sleep in <laughs> it is a sunday so i don't blame you for it um but yeah thanks everybody for stopping by and hanging out for the past four hours uh, for those of you who have been here for the whole time but if not you know thanks for coming by and hanging out for a bit I'll be streaming more builds soon. Uh, I believe the next build will be a classy TKL. Um, and then maybe that the one after might be a, either a Unicorn or the Stellar by Clavier and Space Cables. Uh, so we'll be doing that next. And then I have a bunch of other builds to do. So be excited. Um, hopefully you can join. Um, I know I don't have announcements for times on regular scheduled hours for uh, streams. I apologize in advance. Feel free to join the Discord, exclamation Discord, and my socials, exclamation socials. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. And take care, my friends. I love you all. Have a wonderful Sunday and have fun at Alex's stream. Thank you.